Hello, hello, how are you guys? Hi, Minami, hi, Alter, hi, Ria, hi, Far Sky, and hi, Road Roar, and hi, Ami. Nice. <clears throat> how have you guys been? How was your weekend? Let me put on some music. There you go. <laughs> Okay, just give me a second. I need to like. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a stressful day for me. <clears throat> Buena tarde, buena tarde, Mimi. <laughs> Forcing me to do fucking Spanish. Finishing my homework and playing Genshin. <gasps> I haven't played Genshin today, and I thought I would dedicate myself to it again, <laughs> and I already forgot about it. Okay. <clears throat> Drawing um, screen time. <clears throat> Hi, Black Lover. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How are you? <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh no, yes. <laughs> precisely, precisely. Oh no, Gensh. <laughs> That is such a mood, Ria. That is such a mood. Uh, my mood has been horrible today, but I feel I feel okay now. I was just really stressed. My teacher ghosted me. My teacher fucking go. I could see that he like it says on team. It says on team that he saw my message, which means that he dead as just didn't respond to me. Like thanks. Um, I woke up. I woke up this morning. At 8 a.m. Just I don't know why I just did. And my brain was like, I think you're gonna fail game art. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and then I just kind of spiraled from there the whole day. Like the whole day I was just kind of like, yeah, I'm gonna fail game art. <laughs> and the teacher and I sent him some word because like he gave me like some like criticism yesterday. And I contacted him today and I was showing him some work, right? And I was like, can you can you please tell me how this is? Like I changed stuff and I'm like trying to like develop an environment. And he just ignored me and I was like, anyways, I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> oh wait, let me just get my drawing um arm. And it didn't work. There you go. Nice. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Oh no, I lost my references. Huh? I found them. <clears throat> I started playing Slave Spire again. Because of who? Elira? I have no idea why you censored the name. <laughs> but yeah, it was just it was Slen's birthday yesterday. Um, the birthday stream was the birthday countdown stream was quite a lot of fun. Uh, can I talk about other VTubers? Of course. I mean, it's fine. I don't have that rule. I don't particularly... I don't know. Like, I don't really mind it. I'd rather you guys didn't talk about, like... I don't like being, like, compared or something like that. But I don't really mind you guys mentioning them. Like, it's not like we're gonna just ignore, like, our VTubers... Um... Exist, you know? Like, I am a, v I am a VTuber simp first. And then a VTuber second. <laughs> so I don't really care. As long as you guys don't tell me stuff like, Oh, I'm gonna leave now to go watch this other... Like, you can go watch another VTuber. Just don't tell me about it. Because I will cry. <laughs> I will not... I will, like, be going to sleep that night and thinking about it, okay? So just don't let me know. <laughs> that you're leaving. Like, if you're leaving, just say that you have to go. Don't tell me that you're going to watch someone else, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> mm. 
December 1st, birth of the first toilet. Is that... That, so that better be true. Like, you better not be spreading toilet misinformation. Because I will time you out if you are, Datsu. But welcome. <laughs> How was your weekend? <clears throat> oh, man. <clears throat> oh, Willow, you're here. Hi, Willow. So happy... So happy to see you. You don't have work? Or are you on break? Hmm. You got a day off. Nice. Cool, cool. <clears throat> Compared, like, Slim has a lot more subs than you. There we are. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I mean, I guess not, not really like that. More like, oh, there are... Uh, you're not as fun as Selene or something like that, which I am not. I really am not. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> but we can simp for Selene. I don't know how many Selene simps are here, but I, uh, God, I love her so much. I love her so much. It's like it's scary. How is the music volume, by the way? Hopefully, it's all right. <clears throat> Like, she's just so, like, cheerful and funny. And, like, she tells the stupidest stories. Like, she had such a bizarre life. It's insane. <clears throat> yeah, Elira. You're my first bird of course. Yeah, sure I am. <laughs> you keep up. You keep this up, Rhea. <laughs> you keep telling me those lies. And I honestly don't mind. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, hi, Lysander. How are you? How, how have you been? Do, 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 do. <clears throat> it was supposed to be yesterday, but then they had to change it slightly. Oh, I see. Well, Wednesdays are a good day. We get to chat about random shit. We're back to art streams. I've had enough of life to d. <laughs> I'll be finishing... No, this is model over the Christmas break. So, yeah. <clears throat> wedding stream? There was a wedding stream? <laughs> was I ever on any of your streams since I found you? You know what, Rhea? I'm actually very grateful for that. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, damn, Rhea, like, really stuck, you know? Like, that's pretty rare. <laughs> but it's honestly fine, guys. I hope you don't feel, like, pressured or anything. Like, last thing I want is people, like, feeling like they have to force themselves to come to my streams. Like, just come when you feel like it. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, speaking of Christmas break, I will be leaving on... Fuck. December 10th. <laughs> no, sorry. That was that was that was stupid. I will be leaving on December 13th. So my last stream before yet another break will be on December 10th. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. So yeah, on December 10th is my last stream. That's a Friday. Um <clears throat> Hi nonsense. How are you? Who's Slam? Willow, Willow, come on, come on, Willow. Probably like the best VTuber out there, but okay, you you do you, Willow. <laughs> She's so much fun. You have to watch her. She's from Niji Sanji, um, English. Dun, 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 this makes no sense. Like, what are the clips holding? <laughs> if the hair is over there. God. I would only skip watching if you played Gensh. <laughs> you really don't. You really don't like um, Genshin, Haria. Huh, mm, I streamed Genshin before, but I'm not interested in streaming it again, just because like there's like. The stories are boring, right? And who wants to watch me grind? Nobody does. 
Like, it's the kind of game you just don't really want to stream. Like, the stories are just horrible. And like, you know, right now I just- I only care about building characters in Genshin these days. Which is like why I'm playing right now, because I got Albedo, so now I really want to build him. So like, right now my goal is just to build um, Albedo to be a monster like the rest of my characters, and then I'm gonna dip again for like several months. I haven't played it in months, but Albedo was back, so I was like, I'm just gonna go roll for him, and then I'm gonna build him, and then I'm gonna dip again. <laughs> <clears throat> Simfu, hello my friend told me all about you. Oh no, that's scary. Who who was it? I'm scared. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you have a Genshin profile? Is that a child? Oh no. <clears throat> All better owners, all the diary. He's a good boy, and he's already pretty strong. And I've barely built him. I barely have time to watch you guys. I can't get invested to someone else. I mean, eh, I guess, yeah. But I, I watch Celine for what most of the time. I I watch her. I used to watch her like what. I used to like be fully like caught up on her what's for a while, but I don't have the time unfortunately anymore. But I still watch her quite often. I was on her birthday stream and it just kind of made me be all like, God, I love her, you know? Like, I was like, I knew that I loved her. But on her birthday stream, I was like, I like love, love, love her, you know? <laughs> I don't think you could turn your neck like that, but... I'm so sad I didn't get her a birthday art done on time. Like, I was really, really sad about that. I was like, I didn't get her a birthday artwork. But, you know, better late than never. Oh, it's Faith. It's Faith be spreading <laughs> the Lara epidemic. I can't believe I just bully Faith off and then Faith just goes and tells their friends. <laughs> That's amazing. <clears throat> Which other VTuber I used to watch, one of them also loves Selene, is extremely talented as a VTuber, but she got addicted to Gacha and now she does nothing else anymore. Hmm. Oh, we got police, guys. Lara, Lara, Lara stream tradition. I don't know if you guys heard it. It was pretty quiet today, I think. Oh no, it's getting louder, I think. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but yeah. <clears throat> I think Selene is great to watch if you were in a bad mood. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, she's just incredible. Like, she's just so upbeat all the time. And, like, she tells so many, like, random... Like, she could be talking about nothing. You see, like, for most VTubers, I kind of just skip the super chat part. Because, like, I'm not interested, you know? Like, I don't... I didn't... If I didn't donate, you know? I'm not just gonna, like, sit through them thanking everyone. But for Selene, the super chats are the best part. Like, they're just so much fun because she will go on like a thousand tangents and she will tell you like the most ridiculous stories from her life and you're gonna be there just like, oh my god, she's so- like she's talking about nothing but you're just so captivated. Like I think that's a great quality for like a streamer that they can literally just talk about the most random shit and like you will be interested. Like, I, that's something I aspire to be, honestly. <clears throat> I think I've gotten better at talking on stream, but I'm still nowhere near where I would like to be. <clears throat> oh, hi, Zone. How are you? <laughs> I'm stressed because my teacher ghosted me. <laughs> but I'm drawing... But I'm simping for Selene now while drawing her. I'm just like, I'm just like, Selene this, Selene that. You guys are like, we get it, Lara. You're into Selene. But yeah, a gacha... A gacha addiction is like a real thing. I don't have it because I don't spend money on like in-game purchases, like ever. I literally, I just don't want to. Like maybe sometimes I can like buy something extra, but that's like a super rare case. And like in Genshin, you know, you can earn the gems yourself. It's not like it's impossible. I have all the characters I want. 
and I never spent like a cent on it. You just have to actually save up the gems and like play a lot. If you play a lot, you will generally have like a lot of gems. Sometimes, yes, you get unlucky, but like most of the time, like I saved up for Venti. <clears throat> he was like my, one of my like super big ones. And I have, and I, and I saved up for him when I heard rumors about him coming back. And by the time he, he came back, I had like 12k gems saved. And I just got him, you know? For free. You guys too can have your characters for free. Please don't spend money on Genshin. I am begging you. It's not worth it. It's a scam. Genshin has like the most predatory gacha system I have ever like seen. Like apparently it's even worse than the fate rates. And from what I've heard, fate rates are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I think that's saying a lot. <clears throat> Just ate some... What? Some what? Pum... Pum... Per, pum... Per, I don't know what that is, Zone. You have to explain to me. I spent 69 for 20 on Genshin. Damn it, Alto. You're addicted. <clears throat> when I started watching VTubers, I heard you started watching the Super Chats part of Kara's stream. Oh, really? Mm. I, don't, I haven't watched that much of Karis. I have seen a couple of her like super chats, but I don't find I don't know. I don't for most of them. Whenever I come into like a super chat part, it's just like this person, thank you. This person, thank you. This person, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot of them do go on like tangents and stuff. I've been really enjoying Kazu from Tsundere. I'm once again going to talk about Kazu from Tsundere, guys. I'm sorry. I know when I talk about him last time, I think, or something, I was like, if you don't see me in his chat simping, by the way, guys, that's not me. That's someone else with the same account name pretending to be me. Identity theft is not a joke, by the way. But it's just not just not me in Kazu's chat, like, I swear. <laughs> but, like, yeah. He's also a lot of fun. Like, he, had, he has marshmallow streams on Mondays, by the looks of it. At least he had them the past two Mondays. And it's been so much fun. Like, he goes on lots of tangents as well. And I just really enjoy listening to him talk about random stuff. And yeah, and he reads most of the marshmallows as well. Like, he read a couple of mine once. <clears throat> so yeah. I enjoy chatting streams as well. I don't usually participate in them that much. Like, I mostly prefer... I'm, I'm quite a lurker on most streams. Like, I don't really talk... I chat in Kazu's chat a lot. Well, it's not me. That one person who pretends to me chat to be me chats and Kazu's chat a lot, but it's not me. You know? But <laughs> I lurk in like most streamers and I always chat like at my friends' streams and stuff, but yeah. <clears throat> Identity theft is not a joke. <laughs> oh yeah, Cherry is a really big like Sundari member. Um I think she's like one of like the founders or something. Like one of the like the original Gen Zero ones. Yeah, I don't watch that much. Like, I watch them occasionally, but the ones I watch regularly is Kazu, and I watch Orla quite a bit as well. Because I know Orla, she just has that vibe. You know what's like VTubers have that vibe, but they don't give a shit? I love those. Like, I love it when they have this vibe. Like, they really don't fucking care. Like, like, like Mori kind of as well, I guess. You know, I just, I just love that shit. And Orla has that vibe to me. Like, she's so sassy. I love her. Why would someone pretend to be you? To to frame me as a simp willow. You know? <laughs> but your simping is a mood, he's cool. I know, right? He's pretty chill, isn't he? He's grey. <clears throat> uh This sketch makes like no sense, but you know, like what if Oh, this neck needs to be fixed. But do I want to do that? Like... <laughs> I should have really... Like, I, I, don't, I don't have the time lately. Like, I was doing my 3D stuff all the... Fuck, my tablet just fell on my keyboard. <clears throat> I did not have the time. I just sketched this quickly. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Larry is so close to 200. Oh, I know, right? I saw it the other day and I was like, wow, we're almost at 200 subs. And I was just, and you, you know, you guys know what that means. You guys know what that means. It's Puru, it's Puru Pururin cover. It's coming. The Puru Pururin cover. Probably not like immediately at 200, but soon enough. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I mean, I feel like it should be moved, maybe a bit more. Oh god, what have I done? Like, why didn't I... I hate it here. <clears throat> Everyone was Georgia. There goes nonsense. You gotta understand, I spent the weekend with her, right? I spent the weekend with her. And we were like in an art museum. And she kept saying how everything was a Georgia reference. Like, we were like some religious paintings. And she was like, did you know that the Bible was a Georgia reference? <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> and she was like, do you know that Jesus is a Georgia reference? And, and like she kept saying that stuff about like the most normal things just because they appear in Jojo. And I was like, stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I mean, we've met before. I think that was like our first time, uh, for third time meeting. Is it like a third time meeting nonsense? I think it is. Jesus is a Jojo reference. <laughs> That's what you said. Yeah, I think this is our third meeting, actually, so we've met before. <clears throat> no, that is so smart. Sure. Nonsa just cracked the Bible. She was like, the Bible, it was written just so that Jojo can then, like, reference it. I watched the opening of part 6, because I was curious. I was curious if they, if they made a female seeing it, and I was like, yes, they did. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's our third meeting. I mean, nothing is like, not too far away from me. Unfortunately, we both have like, school and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's easy enough for us to meet, you know? Or like, a weekend or something. <clears throat> <laughs> this is gonna turn Lara into a Jojo reference. I'm giving her VTuber model a Jojo reference. But that's gonna have to take a while. Oh man. I should I should have drawn the braid because like the braid is just confusing me, but I don't wanna like erase it now because it looks pretty sick. <laughs> Hi Sakura, how are you? <clears throat> Okay. I just didn't have dinner actually now that I think about it, but I wasn't too hungry. I was so anxious all day because of fucking my teachers. He's so stupid, man. Okay, well, he's not stupid. I shouldn't be saying that in case someone from my university is watching. But like, he's so annoying. Like, why didn't he respond to me? Like, he's so... Like, I sent him work. Doesn't he... Doesn't he... Doesn't he... Doesn't he want to see my work? I don't get it. He ghosted me. I'm so hurt. And then I, I was like almost crying on the phone with mom. <laughs> I was on the phone with mom. And I was like, mom, I think I'm going to fail the class. And she was like, no, you're not. Mom is just positive. Mom is just positive about everything. And I was like, mom, I think I'm doing something wrong. And he's not telling me what. And mom was just like so chill. And my dad was also so chill. He was like, you're just sad because you miss us. And I was like, no, I am sad because I think I'm going to fail my class. <clears throat> I did get my secrets. I just, I saw an, an email. And I saw a message from Nonsense just now as well. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Nonsense. It's fine. 
<clears throat> Whoops, sorry. I, I, I keep like closing my fucking reference window. There you go. Do, do, do. But yeah, guys, we're doing a secret. Apparently, we're doing a secret Santa. I still don't know how it's gonna work on the Discord. So, like, if you guys want to participate and you're on the Discord, um, I guess you can let Sakura know, Holly, because I don't know. I think Holly is kind of like taking the lead, and I'm glad about that because I'm a horrible organizer. Do, 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 do. I don't know who I got. I haven't looked yet. Holly, is it too late for more people to join? <laughs> oh, see, Holly, we got more people who want to join. I wonder, is it too late? It shouldn't be, right? I mean, we kind of got them shuffled already. Maybe we should restart and reshuffle? I'm not sure. Because I think if people are... If we're already, like, getting people. Also... <sighs> we had, like... An inappropriate person on the Discord the other day. Which, like, really stresses... Stress me out for like no fucking reason. So we have Titan security now. So now, now, but like it doesn't affect anyone who's already on the server. But for the few new people who are going to join, they're gonna have to like agree to the rules first by like doing the reaction thing. I actually know how many. I don't think that's gonna stop any people, but I feel like it's gonna stop the like bots for sure at least. Energy, it just makes me calmer, you know? <clears throat> yeah, it was like a weird person, and then there was like this weird other person who I kind of sussed for being in cahoots with them. So I got rid of them just in case. <laughs> Even though I had no proof. <laughs> but now we have like, what, six mods because people volunteer, so it's fine. It wasn't anything like that serious. But I guess because like it happened for the first time and stuff, and like it kind of just made me be feel like oh maybe we should like um take better care of like what's going on like keep, keep a better eye on on stuff. So like yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. <clears throat> I mean Vanya is not modding like I'm Vanya he, he didn't even like I messaged him I was like Vanya can you like read like the mod rules that i added and like the mod chat and he didn't even like react and he sent me a k-pop song in like response so i really don't think he wants to be a mod so like i'm not gonna count here i don't think he's actually gonna be doing any work he just goes on that server purely to like talk about like k-pop and then he and then like to annoy us in the voice chat when we try to study and then he leaves <laughs> He's not actually contributing, <laughs> like, at all. <clears throat> I was for forced into what? Being a mod? No, you weren't. I offered you. I was like, Alter, would you like to be a mod? And you were like, sure. Like, I didn't force anyone. I asked people if they want to be. If you don't want to be a mod and you're a mod right now, let me know and I I'll mod you. Like, I don't care. Hmm. They just sent like a video that had like... Which is like, it was funny because I didn't even like pick up because like it looked like a Minecraft video. It was a Minecraft video. It just got like really inappropriate at the end. But like... <laughs> I didn't even pick up on that because my brain turned off the second I saw Minecraft. Like I was like... Anyways... <laughs> <laughs> but I think they want it to be noticed so bad because that's the whole purpose of like a troll's life. So they sent it again and they like pointed my attention to it. And I think they waited for me to be online as well because I wasn't online like all day. Like they started texting the second I started texting something. And I was like, damn, this person like is trying so hard to be racist for no fucking reason. <laughs> Like, they were trying so hard to be racist. I was like, why are you this way? <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> I 
I'm on this girl all that night anyway. I don't even have to do anything extra. <laughs> yeah. Alter just watches it while we're all, all like busy with our days. <laughs> because his schedule is just like the opposite of everybody else's schedule. So yeah. But it's alright now. Don't worry. <clears throat> Ah, uh, so can no, so new people can't join then, Sakura? That's a shame. Can we not reset it or something? Is that not possible? Man, I mean, mm, maybe we should have like, ta uh, like, um, pinged everyone just to like people let people know. But I don't know. She did ask a couple times, but I guess not everyone saw it. <clears throat> How many people are participating in yet? I actually have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to read the email later. <clears throat> I was gonna say. I was gonna talk about something, but I ended up just like simping for Salan. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> Uh, it's okay, guys, if you didn't see it. Like, I'm not, like, blaming anyone or anything. And you weren't even a mod back then. It's okay, I was literally there. Like, I didn't think they were, like, waiting for, like, the owner of the server. Because I wasn't inactive all day. And then the second I, like, texted something into the general, they sent that video. So, like, I think they were, like, waiting just specifically for me. They were, like, her. I want her to see how racist I am. <laughs> Nobody else, just her. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. <laughs> it wasn't. It really wasn't for me at the moment. But it's fun now that I look back on it. You know what I mean? But yeah. Oh yeah, I remember what I was gonna say. So, I started talking about my last stream before the break. So my last stream was on the 10th of December, so next, not this Friday, next Friday. So I was wondering, would you guys like to maybe do like a community game? Like maybe we can do um, Gartic Phone? Is Gartic Phone still alive? I have not seen many people play it lately. But we can do Gartic Phone or maybe more Among Us. I kind of want, I kind of want Holly to play though, and, and Holly's not a big fan of Among Us. And we played Among Us recently, I guess, so maybe not Among Us. But like Arctic Phone or Scribble or something like that. I don't know. I think it would be quite nice. Before before I leave for like a month. Yeah, probably like a month I'll be gone. So not too long. <clears throat> yeah, next Friday. So Friday the 10th of December. Yeah, but I feel we haven't played Gartic Phone in a while, right? Maybe we could do that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry about that, Ria. But tell you what, I'll definitely play it in January. I'll definitely play it in January, so... <laughs> and that and that's how I convinced Rhea to wait for me. <laughs> I will, I'll play I'll play the game you want me to play. <laughs> if you wait for me to come back. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> Oh, hi, Celestial Kitty. How are you? Every time someone types garlic phone, I read as garlic phone. Yeah, everybody calls it garlic phone at this point. Like, we, we just kept calling it garlic phone, like, on purpose, I think, for a while. Does the neck look okay, guys? Like, does that look... Does that look... Fine? I'm gonna have to like deform it a little bit, like the body in general, but hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this not this Friday, next Friday. This Friday is the sixth. No, 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 it's not. This Friday is the what day is this Friday? Hold on, hold on. This Friday is the 3rd. Next Friday is the 10th. Come on, guys. Not this Friday. 
You guys wanna you guys wanna get rid of me already? <laughs> it's not it's not this Friday. I'm not leaving yet. I would like to do maybe another like an extra stream, but at the moment my priority is going to be that 3D project that my teacher ignored me on. Ryan, if you're here, he's not here, hopefully. But if you are, Ryan, <laughs> please respond to my message. I'm gonna cry. Like, I already cried a little bit this morning. Like, I'm convinced I'm gonna fail that class. Please, tell me what to do. Hate it here. Hmm. <clears throat> I love you, Arsel. Thank you so much, Kitty. <clears throat> Let's see. I kind of want to draw the cake that she revealed on her birthday yesterday. Now that I've seen it. I didn't see it yet when I sketched this. <laughs> I kind of want to give her that cake with a Selen macaron on it. God, the Selen macarons were so cute, man. They were so cute. I want one. Hmm, let's see. I wonder if I have her cake. I wonder if I can find it real quick. Celine, Celine. Let's see. She showed it like at the very beginning. I think. Yeah, there it is. I found it. God, it's so cute. It has a it has a fucking like macaron with her face. It's so adorable. And it sounded real and it sounded really tasty. I could have eaten it. Why? Hmm. I gotta head out to do some work. I'll see you later there. Okay, no problem. Thank you for, for stopping by zone. How do you draw a cake slice? I don't know why, but the cake slices always confuse me with their weird triangular shape. So, Gartic phone, is that good with everyone? Should I plan that? <clears throat> it's too cute to eat. I see. <laughs> I see. Yeah, it is very cute, isn't it? And it's like mango flavored on the inside or something, she said. But then, but then, like the, mac and the macarons were like Earl Grey. I've never tried Earl Grey macarons. What the fuck? That sounds delicious. Is this what a cake slice looks like? A portal fun right there, guys. Can't even draw a cake. Looks more like a pie. But you know what? You know what? <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Imagine having your buy in chat. Yeah, sure. You keep dreaming, Alter. <laughs> she did comment on my fan arts in the past. Like she's so nice, guys. She comments on people's like fan arts. I've drawn her like two fan arts before, and she actually like proper commented on them. Like she's so nice and attentive to like everyone. I don't know if she still does it. That was like a while ago. I drew them back when she just debuted. But she still reposts like a lot of art. I have her on notification. I have her on notification on Twitter. And like she's constantly re reposting art, so. <clears throat> Let's go. That looks like Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? With, like with the ears. Oh man. <clears throat> I should make it too detailed. I'm never gonna finish this if I make it too detailed. I was kind of planning to finish it on stream, but the line art is taking me ages. Eh. It's been a while since I properly finished an artwork on stream. I don't know what's up with that. Like before, I would just like pump out a whole artwork on stream. And these days, can't even do that. <clears throat> cheese, not cheese. It does not look like cheese. 
Are you gonna eat chocolate bunnies? Oh, that's so cute. I like eating cute things. Don't you ever see something like super adorable? And you're like, fuck, I wanna eat that. Like, do you ever get like that? Does anyone ever get like that? I'm sorry if I sound really like weird. But like, I swear, like whenever I see something like super cute, I'm like, I just wanna like crush it and eat it. <laughs> I probably sound crazy. The man going vanilla on the inside. It's cheesecake, guys. It, it's not, but I'm gonna pretend like it is. And cream or whatever. How do you draw cream? Jesus. I'm not very good at drawing food. I noticed that a while ago. Like, I'm garbage at drawing food. I don't know why. I can never make food. Like, you know how food looks always so tasty, like in anime and stuff? I could never do that. It's a okay, cake, guys. It's obviously a okay. cake. You're a devil of me to want to eat cute thing. Is that how it works? Is it? <laughs> when I was a kid, I want to crush it and eat it. Yes. I had a rubber shaped and colored like candy. Lara? Like non edible stuff? Yeah. Welcome, Mr. E, by the way. <laughs> how are you? It's just that, I don't know, like, I have, like, you know, like, plushies? And I just look at them and I just, like, squish them. I just, like, fucking squish them. And I'm just like, you're so good! I wanna destroy you! <laughs> I sound like a fucking psychopath right now. Like, I can hear myself. I heard myself just now, guys. I'm aware. But you can't blame me. Cute things are there to destroy. It's just how it is. I'm telling you, that's what God wanted. I'm a devil, I know what God wants. <laughs> uh, wait, I forgot the other. Doesn't she have like a second stocking that's like a different height? Yeah. So, here. Actually, I mean, yeah, here should be fine. That's okay. The rest of the hair. I think we're just on a separate layer just in case. You need to be careful what you say since you touch everyone. <laughs> Look, I re I rewatch I rewatch my stuff to like read the chat and stuff. Or like to see if there's anything that I can clip for later. And like sometimes. I'm just there like, why did I say that? Like, I watched some of the stuff back and I'm genuinely like, why the fuck did I say that? Like, what part of me was like, oh yeah, I should say that out loud right now on stream. Like, I just don't get it. Like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know, man. I just... <laughs> like, remember that one stream? Where I just like kept telling you guys how Australia isn't real. Like I spent like a good hour trying to convince you guys how Australia isn't real. And my mom, she doesn't like always watch my stream, but she watches like a, bit, a little bit sometimes. But normally like the next day she calls me and she's like, Oh, how was your stream yesterday? <laughs> and, <laughs> and I was like, well, mom, I think I convinced them that Australia isn't real. So that went well. <laughs> Oh, remember that one time? God, I cringe so hard when I think about it. Remember that one time when Minami went to shower? Minami was like, oh, I'm going to go get a shower, guys. Right? And I was like, oh, Minami, take me to a shower with you. Wouldn't that be sexy and mysterious? <laughs> Why did I... You can just go into, like, the Lara Quotes channel and you'd be like, what the fuck? What, what, what is she going on about? It'd just be like that. <clears throat> Me every day of my life, why the fuck did I say that? Yep. Mm 
Rations don't celebrate New Year. What do you mean? It's the only thing we celebrate. What? <laughs> we what? We do celebrate New Year. It's like a big deal. We don't celebrate Christmas. We don't celebrate like um the Christmas on the twenty fourth. It's twenty fourth, twenty fifth. I don't even know when Christmas is for you guys. That's why we don't celebrate that. But we do celebrate. New Year. Let's see. Uh, Celine, I love Celine, but why is her hair so like complicated? <laughs> VTubers can have such complicated designs. I'm not a huge fan. Like, I am a big fan of more simplistic designs, personally. Like, I find Genshin characters, like, extremely over-designed. Like, they look good, right? But, like, you just don't know what you're looking at sometimes with their outfits and stuff. And it's really, like, it kills my motivation to do any fan art, like, immediately as well. Celeste's design is more, like, on the simple side, luckily. There are some VTubers out there who I wouldn't even dare to draw. <laughs> so that is fairly easy for me to draw. Hmm. I find Arushia very easy to draw as well. I've done Arushia many times. So like, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm going to place her wings on her head later because I want to place... Um... Oh my god, I forgot his name. Was it Ember? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let me just double check. Yeah, that's that's fine. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna deform it. You know, guys, Clip Studio is getting the liquefy tool in the next update. That's crazy. I won't even need to draw anymore. I can just liquefy. <laughs> everything like it was the only thing that was still keeping people with photoshop but now it's gone like say goodbye to fucking photoshop nobody liked that shit clip studio will officially be superior once they add the liquify um larry you said it like that what when did i say that what next year you become a rich and famous vtuber we'll see about that Buy Photoshop, yes! Buy fucking- like, who cares about fucking Photoshop, man? Like... Literally, like, once Liquify tool is there, everyone is going to just migrate. Because in, like, one of the previous updates, they added a function where you can... What was it? You can, like, import Photoshop brushes into Clip Studio, and everyone was like, Okay, goodbye Photoshop, goodbye! <laughs> And now that liquify tool is coming, like, it's over. It's actually over for Photoshop. Like, I'm so sorry, but it is. Okay. Is it just one or two? I, have, I never know. I never know how to draw this kind of stuff. I guess one is fine. There you go. <clears throat> no, not buy Photoshop. Buy for don't twist my words. Don't twist my words, Mr. E. <laughs> don't don't twist my words like that. Bye as in in goodbye. <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> you can take me out of context all you want, guys, but you will never catch me praising Photoshop. Don't even try that shit on me. I'll call the police. They come. They they pass my house very often. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's make Salem blue so that that didn't work. Glenn, thank you. That I can draw the. Oh, I keep trying to say the doggy. 
Which technically it is the doggy, but it's not a doggy. It really isn't a dog, but you know. <clears throat> Hope I'm going to get a computer this Christmas. Ooh, nice. You should get Clip Starter, yeah. You have to, Minana. It's amazing. Okay, he's probably draw like the body first, not like the little feathers. Come on, Lara. Be a pro. He wants cake. He has a long neck. Damn, I did not make the neck that long. He looks so funny. Like, he looks like a chicken, but but not. <laughs> like I can never draw him. I drew him before, like when I found out, and I had the hardest time. I had the hardest time drawing him. I'm not very good at like creature art and stuff like that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he look like a chicken? I didn't get it. <clears throat> Too lazy to do clip editing, but could probably make a Photoshop advertisement of all the things you said so far if we just cut them all together out of context. Rhea, you wouldn't betray me like that. I thought we were homies. I thought we were homies. Come on, Rhea. Aren't we homies? Visuvu. <laughs> You're just gonna cut up like um a video of me where I just go buy Photoshop, buy Photoshop, fuck Clip Studio, buy Photoshop. <laughs> that would be so evil. Like that would be. So Don't give people ideas, please, Rhea. You're too lazy to do it, luckily, but someone else might not be. Minami has made weird video edits of me in the past. Like, Minami, he's unstoppable. <clears throat> well, should I draw the clip studio? Len Kagamine, of course. You know. Looks like a drumstick. <laughs> Apparently, Bugs Bunny is in Stone Ocean. Damn. Are you, gonna, are you now going to proceed to say how Bugs Bunny is a JoJo reference? Nonsense. Is this what you're gonna say? <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> it's true, Minami. Remember how you made that video about getting holy Bible? <laughs> and then you made that video about me and Portal? <laughs> <clears throat> Damn, Minimum doesn't even remember. That's how savage she is, guys. Doesn't even remember all the time she's she's wronged me. Like I keep telling her, I keep telling her stuff like, oh Minami keeps lying to me. And doesn't even remember when she lied to me, you know? But just how it is with her. Savage. Absolutely savage. We'll lie to your face and then forget about it. He has two pairs of wings. Like why does he have two pairs of wings, guys? I'm confused. Like, <laughs> he has too many wings. I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know which ones I should draw. Like, flying. I guess I'll keep these here. I and mean, then I'll make the other ones, like, upward. I don't fucking know. I don't get it. I don't understand this, this design. <laughs> it's really, like, I'm looking at a reference and I'm like, what am I looking at? Like, he kind of makes sense on Selene's shoulder. But, like... Not... Not... Like, when you just look at him. I don't know. <laughs> then there's another way. I'm gonna make those, like... Flappy. <clears throat> ah! <clears throat> yeah, it should be okay. I'm just gonna pretend like that's fine. <laughs> Selene is so good at drawing dragons. Like, she draws so many dragons. She drew like everyone in Niji Sanji as a dragon, I think. But I'm not that strong. I am not like 
a dragon kind of like there are people who just specialize in things like dragons and horses you know that one girl who's just really good at drawing horses in your class like that i am not i'm not that person i'm the anime girl person i specialize in anime girls in anime girls only <laughs> you just got holy bible sent <laughs> to your friend to holy bible then yes that did I lie to you? I mean, in this room? <laughs> he can fly with one pair and eat tacos with the others. No, he can fly and eat tacos at the same time, Alter. That's why he has so many wings. I mean, he also has like wings on his... Wait, there are two pairs of these on his head as well. So it's like, what? So there's like four, there's, like, four wings up on his head as well. This is crazy. This is insane. What? What? Oh my goodness. Why am I just finding all these out now? I've drawn him before. Like... <laughs> I'm so... It's been a while. I'm telling you getting hungry. Wow. God, I was so anxious all day. I wasn't hungry at all. And now my mood is better because I'm just streaming and chilling. And suddenly I'm like really hungry. I'm gonna have to eat after the stream. <laughs> Hmm. The head is too big, isn't it? I feel like it is. I'm so bad at drawing creatures. I need to work on that stuff. And in my environment, apparently, but that's... I'm, just, I, I'm trying not to think about it. About how I'm gonna fail miserably. <clears throat> I only can do dragons and vassal. Oh, you're one of both people? I specialize in stick people, that's fair. That is not a bad thing to specialize in. I want to do more MS paint art actually. When I get the time. I won't be able to draw an MS Paint when I'm on vacation. I'm so sad. Gotta get lots of like MS Paint base art done so that then I can just edit it in Clip Studio while I'm home. <laughs> can you get MS Paint on a Mac? <laughs> is that a thing? I doubt it. I mean, he's wearing whatever this is he's wearing. Like, you know, I just have so many questions. Like... Oh god, I'm like really hungry now. Holy shit. I think it's all the food I've been avoiding today because I was so stressed suddenly catching up to me because I feel better. Christ. I'm like starving. Oh my god. I can hear my own stomach. I hate it here. If you guys hear my stomach, just ignore it, okay? Remember in art class, we first had to draw realistic... <clears throat> and I was like the worst in class and my teacher said you'll be absolutely amazing when we get to abstract art. Nice. <laughs> Apparently I was so good that teacher ended up stealing the abstract art. What? <laughs> That's cool. Wait, my eyes are closed? Maybe, maybe my truck I think I move my phone a little bit. Hmm. I feel like you guys might not be able to see me when I lean, um, like, draw. Well, let me just move my phone so that you can see me better. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. No, guys, I'm just that good. I'm drawing with my eyes closed. Can't you tell? Can't you tell I'm such a good artist? I'm just drawing with my eyes closed. <laughs> I'm amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know, I've never actually done that much like abstract art. I don't like realistic art that much. I used to have like a realistic art face and I wasn't bad at it. But I feel like the realistic art kind of once you achieve like a certain like level of once you do it for a while, you kind of just get bored and you start to like want to experiment more. I love looking at realistic art. I really I appreciate it, you know, I appreciate the effort and stuff. 
One of my favorite galleries in Barcelona has amazing, like, realistic modern art selection. Like, it's gorgeous. But it was like very interesting concepts, you know? Like, it's not just like super realistic face or something. They do lots of like very interesting, like, composition and just like cool concepts in general, which is why I like it so much. But yeah. Other than that, realistic art is not like really my thing, I guess. <clears throat> I don't get how does this work? It's like... You know what, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I hope nobody minds. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I think I wanna have her hair... Yeah, I think the hair can go in front. <clears throat> Impression is... Uh, that's what it was called. I couldn't remember what it, what it was called the other day and I was like, damn. I already forgot my art history. Haven't, haven't like done any in a while. I already forgot what impression what, imp what impressionism was. But yeah, I like it a lot as well. Um, oops. No, I think I want to erase her hair here. Here. Yeah. <clears throat> Almost done with the line art. Can get to coloring soon. Just gotta pull through. <clears throat> Lara Flex. <laughs> In our class, I drew Izumi from Love Stage, and the art teacher took that drawing and put it in the school gallery. That's amazing, Minami. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but amazing. <clears throat> yeah, it's a really nice style, isn't it? I like it a lot as well, especially like the colors. Okay, let's do her little wings on her head now. Why is this on a separate layer, man? Oops, I should have done that. Hold on. <laughs> Make her normal color first. Okay, wings. <laughs> you didn't go to the art museum in the end. Come on, Lisa. I went to I went to the National Gallery this weekend of nonsense. It was fun. I kind of want to go to the portrait gallery as well. There are some really gorgeous paintings, but I kept taking pictures of only the funny ones. Like I have so many pictures of just funny dogs in the corners or like baby. The babies are so ugly on old paintings, guys. Like you know, like really ugly babies from like medieval paintings and stuff. There were so many. I have so many ugly baby pictures now. <laughs> it's insane. Like, please. <laughs> Why are babies? Like, did they never see any babies? Like, did they, did, did they not know what babies look like back then? Like, <laughs> there was this one baby. It looked just like, you know that emoji that we use with like the eyes, the two eye emojis and the lip emoji? It looked just like that. It looked just like that fucking emoji combination. I, like, I was losing my mind. I just, I can't. And the dogs were so ugly as well, but like also funny. But like this dog with like a fucking like meat loaf or like a bread loaf. Yeah. <clears throat> Should I take pictures of animals? Yeah. <clears throat> All paintings of cats. <laughs> yeah, like all like all paintings in general. I guess because like maybe they didn't have like I guess because now nowadays we can just look up what something looks like, you know. But I guess they didn't really have that privilege back in the day, so they kind of had to improvise and overcome. I do not know where to put that other wing on her head. Like I'm clueless. Maybe. Hmm. I mean, just like hint at it back there and that's it. We're just gonna do that because yeah. It's gonna be confusing if I make it too deep, like refined, I guess. I, just, I don't know. Just have it like there. That should be okay. Okay, uh... 
Let's merge those. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? Actually, no. Hold on. Go back. Don't merge it yet. And I wanna... Yeah, there you go. Please liquefy tool. Come soon. Hmm. Limitations breed creativity, they say. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> they gave us lots of beautiful cat pictures and dog pictures and ugly babies, so... That's okay, I mean... I'm not too happy with the neck still, but I can't be bothered. I really can't, like... <clears throat> I'm to travel to Moscow since I've seen all the guys in my city. I see. With Moscow? I've been to a couple galleries and I think I've been to like... Um... To like... What was it? I can't remember where I was in Moscow actually, so I'm not gonna tell you. But I was, I was somewhere in Moscow. At an art gallery. <laughs> And I was in Moscow very briefly, like, a couple times, so... <laughs> the only thing I remember, like, uh, vividly from Moscow is, is seeing Lenin's corpse. Now, Lenin's corpse will be forever my biggest memory. Like, it was a fun one, you know, I stood in line to see it. I think I stood in line for, like, 40 minutes to look at his corpse. And then my friend ran out of there because, because it turns out she hates, like, dead people and stuff like that. Like, apparently she can't stand it at all. So, she just ran out the second she saw it. And I was like, but Lisa, Lennon's corpse. And the guard there, he like shushed me. He was like, shh. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. He might wake up. <laughs> like, sure. I'm so sorry for being loud in front of Lennon's corpse. Oh, man. <clears throat> Yeah, that should be fine. Um, yeah, let's keep the cake on a separate layer. Why not? FaceTime. <laughs> I don't get watching Corp. It was Lenin's corpse, Minami. It wasn't just a corpse, it was Lenin's corpse. They preserved it. They preserved it just so that we can come and look at it. And then Stalin's grave made me really depressed, but not because I like Stalin or anything, but because it had so many fucking flowers on it. Like, I went there ironically, right? I like, before anyone thinks that I actually went there because like, I like Lenin or something. No, I fucking didn't. I went there because I find it really fucking funny. <laughs> I went there for the memes. But like some people are like genuinely like... They go there genuinely, like unironically to bring them flowers and stuff. And there was a pile of flowers on Stalin's grave, as tall as me. And I was not happy about I was like, what? Who? Who? Who stands in line? Who stands in line to bring Stalin fucking flowers? Like what? What is wrong with these people? Jesus Christ. Actually crazy. And scary. Very scary. I know. Left a weird feeling to add me to me personally. Like I don't know, it's kinda like damn. People do be like that, huh? <laughs> Lara, who went there for the memes? Faced reality. Hmm, <clears throat> think I should be lower actually. Do 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 do. Hey, come. <clears throat> You're making me want to go to a gallery? You should. You should
should also go see Lenin's corpse. I'm just saying. It's a fun experience. It's a shame they don't let you take pictures. <clears throat> I would have loved to take some pictures, but they don't allow you. Because again, you know, what if the flash... What if the flash scares Lenin and he wakes up and runs off, guys? Like, why can't you take pictures? I don't get it. Like, why aren't you allowed? He might crumble? Or what? Like, what's gonna happen if I take a fucking picture? Cowards. Won't even let me take a picture for my memes. I would have loved to, like, post on my Instagram story, take a selfie with him, add a filter. <laughs> Maybe that's why. I think I just answered my own question. <laughs> why don't they let people take pictures? <laughs> Hmm. Everywhere in Russia except Moscow. Oh. Really? We're flashing my damage it. Okay, then say no flash. No flash photography. Whoops. Come back face. Hmm. I think it all should get lower, maybe? And then the nose as well? Yeah. No. I'm just gonna keep it like this. Da -da -da -da. But yeah, Moscow has so much stuff. Because like, I know, I was there for a couple of days. But there's just so much to see. I was there in winter as well, so it was snowing. Like, I don't see snow very often. So it was a lot of fun. I was just like, because like, my friend is from, who I was traveling with, she's from Moscow, right? So she sees snow all the time. But I never see snow. So I was like, Lisa, look! Look, snow! And she was like, yes, I know. And I was like, look! Look at that! I was like grabbing snow off like cars and like oh my god look at this and she was like yes I know I know it's snow <laughs> you can't take pictures because certain kinds of light can make things deteriorate faster just let him die just bury him Jesus fucking Christ why are they holding I I saw him now that I saw him they can bury him okay like it's done like, the most important person got to see him. They can just let it go now. Like, nobody else, like, actually really needs to see him that much. Like, just let the poor man die. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, maybe the mouth is a bit too exaggerated. What do you guys think? Should I make the mouth a bit more... Basic? That looks quite nice, actually, as well. Can give her a fang. Cute. <clears throat> that was like the worst thing ever. <laughs> I guess it's pretty annoying if you like get it a lot. But for someone who never sees it, it's like, oh my god. Oh my god, snow. <laughs> like that. <clears throat> I don't think I never seen snow. I have seen snow, but like I see it very, very rarely. Like it never snows where I'm from. And then I moved to Spain. It never fucking snows in Barcelona either. So yeah, it was <laughs> it was pretty wild for me. <clears throat> you must well forget to switch over flat. You know what? I would do that. I would have to just go there and just like make him deteriorate faster. I would just go there and like flash at him. No, but there are like 10 guards standing there though. I said there were like 10 guards guarding him and I'm like, who are these people? Like imagine your job is guarding is guarding Lennon's like corpse. Like <laughs> I don't know if that's fun or sad. Actually, maybe I'll draw this short print when I sh do shading. That's fine. Um, I'm quite happy with this. I think it looks pretty good. Let's see. Maybe I'll scale it up just a tiny bit. <laughs> just to make her fill up the picture. But I think it looks alright, you yeah. Ugh, stretch time. 
I would just go and flash at him? That's not what I said. That is not what I said. That is not what I said. Stop taking me out of... Stop taking me... Stop taking me out of context. Lenin is 99% place in your leap of Emyon. Nice. Sounds like something I would eat. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that. I'm not gonna eat Lenin, guys. I swear. Not yet. Not yet. <clears throat> You guys, what if you had Google Glass or something similar? You could take a thing about them knowing. Isn't that why Google Glass think glasses think is like bad? Isn't isn't that why um, isn't that why they're like banned? Because like you can just take pictures without consent. <laughs> Not cute enough to eat. I don't know, guys. Lenin is pretty cute to me. Wait, my music stopped. Music, come on. Like, he's kind of... <laughs> when did he cause less? No. And he's dead, so it kind of makes sense. <laughs> yeah, don't you guys know I eat bones? Don't you guys know I love to eat bones? It's like my whole thing. My whole, like, character develop. My only part of character development on this channel so far has been the fact that I apparently eat bones. Like, that's just what it's been. do 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 Oops. That's... Yeah, that's better, I think. <clears throat> Why you wanna eat mole? It's not cute. You guys just don't have taste as refined as mine. What can I tell you? <laughs> it's that Lipa V Mjot sounds tasty. I love Mjot. It made me think of the honey... Of the Russian honey cake. I love the Russian honey cake so much. I would die for it. So I was like, hmm, what if Lenin is cake? You know it was like memes? <laughs> when everything was cake. Like you would look at something and then it's cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it made me feel. I was like, maybe Lenin is just cake and I can just like eat him. <laughs> what if, guys, what if? Just a, just a theory, but think about it. What if that's why they're keeping him so safe? Because he's actually like super delicious. And like he's just lying there like on his back, right? But maybe like they eat a bit of him every time. So like if you turn him around, he's like whole back and ass is already eaten. <laughs> so like, you know, they're just like slowly eating him without letting anyone know. Because he's so tasty, he's actually made out of honey cake. Lenin has cake! No, it got eaten already because you can't see it. You can't see it, so we went for the cake first. <laughs> we went for the cake cake first. <laughs> what am I saying? What am I saying? Uh, guys, it's happening again. It's happening again. I'm saying I'm saying random shit I shouldn't be saying. It's happening again. What do I do? How do I make myself shut the fuck up? <laughs> Why did I start talking about Lenin? <laughs> Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> every time, every time an art stream just goes like in a weird direction. Hmm. You see how I filled that in flawlessly, though? Well? Oops, wrong brush. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. Oh, hey, Willow! You didn't hear me talking about how I want to eat Lenin because I feel like he's out of cake. Or anything like that. That didn't happen. That did not fucking happen. <laughs> Lara, you are very hungry. Maybe I am just hungry. Maybe I am. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe I am just very hungry. Leaving this message of you, Lara, when rewatches the video, I will never go back to this video. <laughs> not, not me. Not me being hungry and feel like... Oh god, maybe, maybe it is because I'm just so fucking hungry. Guys, look at that. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, I started like... <laughs> I started thinking about eating Lennon's corpse. Help. Help. <laughs> Maybe I should go get a snack or something, but I don't want a snack in my room. 
Oh god, should I should change my topic? What should I change my topic to? <laughs> what should I say? How can I redeem myself? So every time I leave a stream for a second and come back, is the guy coming with pizza and seeing the apartment on fire? <laughs> oh, I remember that one. <laughs> Willow, maybe you should just shouldn't leave. Maybe your energy is keeping this place sane, and then the second you're gone. It's like, you know how, like, you weren't at the Pururin stream? You weren't at the Pururin stream, and it was an absolute nightmare, you know? So, like, maybe that's why. You shouldn't leave. You should never leave, Willow. Without you, this place is absolute chaos. Hmm. Yeah, I'm so happy with the food. I'm so happy with the food. You dropped a knife out of the window and the cops are after you for it. Yeah, that also happened. <clears throat> It's just in there wants to eat lettuce ass. Nah! That's not That's not what I said! Stop saying it! Lara about to eat lettuce ass! <laughs> oh you were at the Pururin stream? I thought you weren't for some reason. Because I remember you saying how you like missed on everyone getting traumatized. Sorry Willa, I thought you weren't. <clears throat> well, you didn't protect us enough. You should have been there the whole time. Okay. I'm the ca I keep getting distracted from my actual art. I am so hungry. Holy shit. I would love some midavik just about now. Game if it became my worst nightmare? What do you mean? Hmm. Lara won't even comment on how Europeans used to eat mummies. They did? I didn't know that. For real? No, right. No way. No way. Is Selene holding Lennon's cake? Man, I mean, shut the fuck up. It's her birthday drawing. It's her birthday drawing. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. She's a saint. You can't say that about her, Minami. She's she she's the only one keeping me sane. Hmm. Oh yeah, is anyone I know Willow I think said that they watched Arcane. Is anyone else watching Arcane? I started watching it. And at first I was like, it looks good, and I'll watch it eventually. You know, I was like, oh, I'll watch it eventually. But then my mom watched. My mom started watching it, right? But she doesn't know anything about League of Legends, right? So she texted me, like she sent me like a screenshot, and she was like, "I'm watching this animation. It looks really cool." And I was like, and I was like, "Mom, that's a League of Legends cartoon." <laughs> and she was like, "What's League of Legends?" <laughs> Oh, man, it was so funny. My mom's reaction to it was such a roller coaster. I was like, maybe I'll watch it. <laughs> because basically, my mom, she's a huge fan of like science fiction. And like, she loves stuff like, you know, like futuristic kind of stuff. And I guess she really liked the kind of steampunk aesthetic that it has. Like, I think she must have started watching it because of like this whole like steampunk aesthetic thing. But my mom absolutely hates fantasy. Like, for some reason, like, magic and, like, fantasy kind of stuff is, like, a huge turn-off for her. So she started watching it and she told me that she liked it because, like, all this steampunk stuff. And then there was, like, magic in episode 2. And I remember asking her, so how's your kid? And she was like, there's magic in it. There's magic. I hate magic. <laughs> she was like, I'm not gonna watch it. There's magic in it. And I was like, damn, mom. I'm sorry you had to go for it. I'm sorry you hate magic that much. <laughs> like, she was so upset. But then... But then, I, she, she kept watching it, right? I was like, Mom, why are you still watching it? I thought it had magic. And she was like, well, episode 3 ended like on a really intriguing note, so I'm gonna keep watching it. And then in the end, she watched the whole thing and she like really liked it. <laughs> so I started watching it because my mom was like, it's good. 
And my mom has good taste, so I trust her. And it's quite good, it's quite good, um, so far. So yeah, I'm liking it. Even though it's League of Legends. <laughs> I don't know if anyone here plays League, but stop it. <laughs> I finished her kid, I want to put anyone in therapy. I just finished episode 6, so I have 3 episodes left. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty insane. But you know, Jinx already was crazy in-game. So like, I was just expecting for her to start spiraling. Like, it's nothing surprising, you know, for Jinx to go crazy. I was just waiting for it to happen. But like, them as babies is super adorable. <clears throat> League of Legends stream went never. I can promise you that, Alter. Never. I don't, I don't know any nice person that plays League. <laughs> I'm sorry if someone here plays League, but I don't know any nice people that play League. <laughs> Never met a nice person that plays League. <laughs> Never in my life, so... I'm just saying. Mm-mm. <laughs> I don't know anything about League of Legends, was wondering to get the new... I was an RPG, I didn't even hear about that. Your mom is like me, you also don't like fantasy? I'm not like too into... I'm not into fantasy, but I'm not into science fiction either. Like, I can watch them, but it's not like, like a genre that I'm like obsessed with, you know? So like, I don't know. I don't really mind it, but I don't like love it either, because my mom loved... My mom could see something like remotely science fiction-y and she's gonna go watch it <laughs> today i was on the phone with her and i was talking to her about how i'm worried about my classes and she was like i'm sorry but season three of lost in space is out so i'm gonna go watch that and i was like mom mom ah! <clears throat> i only watch stuff Without high fantasy like magic or ghost too, it kills my immersion if I can't imagine what could happen at this very moment. Hmm, I see. But what about science fiction though? Like, technically, it also can be pretty unrealistic, don't you think? Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I forgot her tail. I should draw her tail, guys. I just give her like um there you go. Just a bit of her tail. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Apparently she was tell I said she was telling me about Lost in Space. I swear she was telling me about Lost in Space. I I swear she was what she was talking to me. Do you think she lied to me? You think she lied to me? No, I think it was like a new season or something like that. Yeah, I think it was like a new season or something. Don't tell me my mom lied to me about a season coming out and just left. No, apparently there's like a Netflix one that's like from 2018 or something like that. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, I watch Star Wars. I watched Star Wars, but I wasn't... I don't know, I didn't really like it. Just didn't really, like, care for it. I watched, like, a few. I watched, like, four... No, four or five Star Wars movies. And I just... I don't know. I watched them because I had a friend who was really into Star Wars, and she forced me to watch all of fucking Star Wars at the time. Like, everything that was out at the time. And I watched it for her. And then she got into Star Trek. And then she got into Star Trek and she abandoned Star Wars. She, she didn't fucking like Star Wars anymore. And I was like, I suffered through that shit for you. And you don't even like it anymore. <laughs> and I'm not even friends with her anymore. Like, I had... <laughs> I had a horrible, horrible end of my friendship with that girl. <laughs> I'm still, like, extremely petty about some of this stuff, so... It's quite funny. I don't trust Star Wars and Star Trek fans no more. <laughs> like, I just I forever will associate um, Star Trek with her, which is like super sad. Like, whenever someone tells me something about Star Trek, I just immediately think of her. And like, it just like, it just ruins everything for me. Like, I'm like, I'm sorry, but I don't. 
I don't want to think, like, I don't want to perceive Star Trek. Fuck Star Trek. <clears throat> Love is on Netflix is pretty good, but the antagonist is annoying as fuck. <clears throat> is it okay to write about our king because I hate everyone from the council? <laughs> that was such a mood. <clears throat> yeah, Victor, I really like Victor. He has like this... Um, I really like his accent. His accent is very nice, like his voice as well. Um, and he has like a very like cool... Like a cool way of like the way he speaks. I just really like how he speaks and like the way they like animated his like face and stuff. I really like his like vibe. I don't know how to explain it, but I like it. <clears throat> um, I mean, maybe you can rant about it, but please no spoilers because I haven't finished it yet. So maybe keep it vague. <laughs> keep it as vague as possible. <clears throat> Lost in Space actually worship my parents, need to ask them if we watch season 3. Yeah, see, there is a recent season. My mom didn't lie to me today. <laughs> to get out of a phone call, she would never. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> okay, um... Gotta keep getting distracted. It's the fun of your art streams. You get little art done. Maybe it's a good sign that I don't get art finished as easily anymore during art streams. Like, I think it just means that, like, we're pretty, like... I talk a lot, you know? Like, maybe before I was so productive during art streams because I barely spoke to you guys. <laughs> like... I, I remember, like, some of my very, very first streams, the ones that are archived. Like, they're not available anymore. Unless you're Holly, who saved all the fucking links. Holly, if you're still here, why would you do this to me? <laughs> but yeah. Mm. I barely I barely fucking spoke on those like I remember just like sitting there like in complete silence. And like I think I've gotten better at it. I think I don't get as much awkward silence anymore, so that's good. <laughs> oh, it came out today. See? See my mom wasn't lying. It literally came out as she was on the phone with me. So it's all good. It's all good. Oops! I think I just moved something, but I don't know what it was. Should be fine. Who cares? Um. God, her colors confuse me. Do, 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 do. Okay, so the, the. What are these called? Bandages? I don't fucking know. These. YouTube just gave me a pop-up on change term of... Oh yeah, I keep getting those, but I don't know what they are. And I'm scared, but I'm too lazy to read about it. Like, I, I got like three emails on like all of my fucking email addresses and a pop-up. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what they're doing. I'm scared. I'm scared. What is it this time? Because last time, all of the like, um, privacy policies were, up were upgraded and stuff. And we all just pressed accept, and now I get like very specific ads on everything. So. <laughs> I am terrified of what's next. <clears throat> very specific. I, I said like, I talk about something. I can talk about something to someone. And I get that advertised to me. It's terrifying. You have to give him your firstborn child. <laughs> Damn. Harsh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Reap. Yeah, if you want to be a VTuber, you have to sacrifice your first child to YouTube. Da -da. Dun, 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 dun. I love this song. I know I love every song on my playlist and I constantly say that. But you guys can't blame me for having superior taste. Hmm. Also, the, jo the new JoJo season came out today as well. <laughs> my mom is celebrating more Lost in Space. 
while Jojo fans are celebrating um, <laughs> my new Jojo season. Because YouTube belongs to Google, they basically know everything about you. They really do, they really do. <clears throat> Hi, Kitten Mallow. How are you? I've seen, I think I've seen you on some of the previous streams. Okay, so the skirt is gray. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, your altar is wide. I'm sorry, I forgot. Nice. Is altar still here? Damn, wild. Alter, your wife is here. <gasps> I'm alright. I got ghosted by my teacher today. <laughs> Am I just gonna tell that to everyone that comes in? Yes. Damn. Alter missing out his wife being here. Okay, and these are like this color? Kind of? They really aren't. Like... Maybe like this. Yeah. Oh! Let's move this under. I don't like the color of the skirt. It looks better. It looks better on the reference. Maybe more like this. Like more purple. <clears throat> Don't tell none that I saw the first episode of this season because I was curious. You know what, Minimi? I was thinking about that. I was thinking of I was also I was also like um Oh I, I watched the trailer because it was like you know that homepage on Netflix? Where it like gives you like one big video of like something that it's recommending you. <laughs> oh no, nonsense is here! <laughs> Apparently YouTube is adding detailed rules on when content can be removed and when not. Oh! <laughs> Minami deletes her message. <laughs> Minami. Nice save, Minami. Nice save. You go, girl. You go. <laughs> uh, but she didn't. But she didn't watch it, nonsense. She don't, She wanted to, but she didn't. <clears throat> so it's fine. Is the first episode horny? That's what you want to know? No, that's what you want to know? Really? That's the question you want to ask to someone who saw it? Ugh, I don't know what color to make the skirt! Ba -ba -bum. Do -do -do -do. Nothing changed about the warning track system for channels, but it's nice playing it. Oh, I see. Is that like the only thing then? Mm. Oh well. I mean, like, they warn you about this policy, but it's not that you can actually do anything about it, you know? Like, what are you gonna do? Tell them no and then not use the website? Like, they're just informing you because they have to, but it's not like you can actually, like, just, like, stop it from happening. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna, like, whatever it is, really, I'm just gonna have to, like, yeah, I'm gonna read through it as well. I should probably stop ignoring their emails. But, you know, my brain was like, oh, there's such a long time until, like, 5th of January, so I can still, I, I can still postpone it. <laughs> hmm. Then the whole cop, I think, was happening, like, with children, like, content. Everyone was panicking so much. People were, like, leaving YouTube and stuff. And I genuinely went to, like... And there was, like, videos who were, like, starting panic. They were like, oh, this means... But not any content can be posted on YouTube if it's like animation and stuff. But that was like so not true. Like I did lots of research on Coppa back in the day and I was like, that doesn't affect me in any way. Like, it really doesn't affect my Vocaloid music like at all. Okay, let's make the cake mango. That's not a very mango color. Hold it down. Mm. 
<clears throat> I heard... Wait, what? They mention it but never show? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you should keep it away from your brother. <laughs> if it, something bad happens. But I mean, you can always just watch the first episode nonsense. And then like make sure that it's safe. And then pretend in front of your brother like it's your first time watching it. We won't tell him. And you're doing it for him, so it's fine. Okay. Oops, wrong layer. Very wrong layer. Hmm, don't like this color. Maybe more like this? <clears throat> they stopped allowing ASMR? Really? Yeah, it's even a little loud. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure to check it out. Like, I will definitely check it out. There is like a while, so like I'll definitely take a look at it. But like, yeah. Um, I think I'll just do no. What should I do? I'll merge the layers after. Yeah, that should be fine. I always get so confused when trying to like color little details. I don't know why. It just fucks with my brain. What, what layer? There it is. Uh, I just want to start shading, please. Shading is the best part. Just let me do it. The screen is yellow. And then there are pink clouds. God, I used to get custom cakes for my birthdays a long time ago. I had a friend whose mom was like a baker, but yeah, she's in Spain. Maybe I can get a cake this year. I mean, well, in January, yeah. So I really, I really, because she makes amazing medevik because she's Russian, so she knows what's up. She makes such a good medevik cake. I never had, um, I never had a better one. Mmm, mmm. Russian honey cake. Uh, where's my reference? There it is. <clears throat> I know the details, but there was a time where YouTube removed all ASMR videos. Huh. That's so strange. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, some like some policies just confuse me. What is this layer? Oh. I'm so confused in my own layers. Okay, um. I've tried the fun of this color. Alter, your wife was here. Did you see your wife? She was here. And I didn't call her baby. I was strong. I didn't call her baby. Even when she told me that she was your wife. I controlled myself. I controlled myself and I didn't call your wife baby. <laughs> Aren't you proud of me? Mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> That's good. Thank you, Ria. <laughs> You're the real homie. <laughs> You're the real homie, Ria. <laughs> Reading boring policies. <laughs> hmm. And if I just use all this like language that my brain just does not comprehend. Okay. Um, let's do. The dog. I was gonna say the dog again. He's a dog now, guys, okay? Technically, he is, so it's fine. 
God, I laughed so hard at that one stream where Selene was talking about him. And she was like, yeah, he hates children and like old people. And I think he hates men as well. Like apparently he only likes women. <laughs> so when she takes him to the web just to ask for a female wet. Like I was, I was like, I was, I was laughing so hard. I don't know why, but like, I just thought it was so funny. <laughs> like what a relatable fucking dog. Let's move it. Under the hair, why not? Oh, I'm too lazy to erase all that, bro. Let's not. Let's just erase it here. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> what are Dark Friend's preferences? Oh, Dark Friend just hates everyone. Dark Friend is, exists just solely to be a menace to society. Like, that friend does not discriminate. He hates everyone equally. And that's the beauty of Dark Friend. That just his beauty, guys. He ain't no... <laughs> he, he hates everyone equally. He's a, he's a good boy. <laughs> kind of, I guess. Goose. I can't wait to play Untitled Goose Game. I was... I really wanted to play it for forever. And I've seen a very little gameplay of it myself, so it's gonna be pretty like, um... I'm gonna go in there pretty blind. There's one VTuber I like was streaming it, actually. Just the other day, but I was like, I must not watch because I'm gonna... I'm gonna play it this Friday. <laughs> Goose Fin, on the other hand, guys. I'm telling you, you put too much trust into him. He's a bad, bad person. Dog generally hate me. They're allowed to bite me, really. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I love dogs. I love dogs so much. I really want a dog. Like, I really, really, really want a dog. <laughs> but I can't have one anytime soon. I had a chihuahua like ages ago when I was little. Like, we had one. And like, he was such a menace to society. Like, he was so... He was so mean. He was so fucking mean, guys. You don't get it. Like, it was the meanest fucking dog I ever met in my life. What, what layer is this? Oh, right. I'm stupid. It's this layer. <laughs> like, holy fuck. That, no, that chihuahua... Like, he was the devil, okay? And you guys are like, that's weird coming from you, Lara. I thought you were the devil. No, he's the devil. That fucking chihuahua was a monster. He, like, he was literally, like... Like, he was our dog in our family. And he hated me. He hated me so much. Like, I just wanted to be friends with him. And he fucking hated me. And I, and I, and like... And like the worst thing is, I still loved him. I still loved him, guys. I was still like, I love you. I know you fucking hate my gods, but I still love you. Like I was too kind. I was too kind to him. Like I remember one time I brought him food. I remember one time I brought him food, uh, like, like human food, you know, like the stuff he's not supposed to eat. So I was like spoiling him I, because I thought maybe, I thought maybe if I like bring him food and stuff, maybe if I'm like nice to him, he'll be nice to me, right? And he was really happy and he ate the food. And then I reached to grab the, to grab the empty plate, but he left. Like he finished eating, there was nothing left on the plate. And I reached my hand to grab the plate and he beat me. And that's when I knew. It was the saddest day of my life. I was very young, but I was like... I, like, I came to a realization that I will never be friends with this dog. Like, this dog will never love me no matter what. <laughs> I, was, I was like... I had such a, like, a weird epiphany that day. Like, I was just like... This dog will never love me. <laughs> and that just made me so sad. Like, I remember being so heartbroken over it. He loved my mom, though. I think he was like... He was like a mommy's boy. 
Like, he loved my mom. And I think he could clearly see that my mom loved me more than she loved him. Because I was a child and he was a dog. And I think he was, like, really jealous. So that might have been one of the reasons why he hated me. But I also annoyed him a lot. I think I, I was, like, too young to, like, understand that not all dogs, like, being, like, cuddled and stuff like that. So I think I was kind of in his space a lot, too. So yeah, we did not get along. <laughs> we did not get along at all. <clears throat> Gusfin is love, Gusfin is light. No, he's not. I prefer more cats. Yeah, I like both cats and dogs, I think, personally. Like, I don't really have, like, a preference. I think... I think I would like to have a dog more because a dog would like motivate me to go outside. I do not go outside. I do not fucking go outside, God. It just doesn't happen. It's not like... It only happens when I need to go buy food and I've been lazy to do that. So... You know... <laughs> and a dog, you know, dogs need to go out. So he would like force me to go out. It would be nice to have a like a solid reason to go outside because cats they just stay home all day they don't need to go out so i feel like a cat would just ruin me a cat will be what would bring me to like the end <laughs> of, a, of a of like the remains of a decent lifestyle that i have <clears throat> okay the base colors are done it's that time again guys where we decide what color should the back up my go-to color is always yellow. Yellow looks good. Yellow just looks so good with everything, guys. Like, goddamn. Don't you think? Don't you? Look at it. Dude, that is a chihuahua, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> I think he was just stupid and I thought you were trying to eat his food. There was no food left. Willow, there was no food left on that plate. It was like, it was like licked clean, okay? Like he does not leave leftovers. I love yellow. Like whenever I, I, I try to do a background, like a simple background, I go for yellow. I just love the color yellow. It's my favorite color. It's such a good color, man. Yeah, it is complementary with like purple though. So yeah, I, I can see why it works. <laughs> Should we go with yellow? Maybe like a different shade? Maybe like a brighter yellow? Hmm, no. Well, this kind of looks nice too. But maybe more like a pastel yellow. Like a lemon, like a pastel lemon yellow. No? I quite like maybe like this. There are dogs are stupid, especially with food. Look, Willow, that wasn't the only time he beat me, okay? He just didn't like me. Neon yellow, okay, no. Yellow stocks, it's piss color. Willow, I'm gonna fucking time you out. I'm gonna time you out, Willow. Yeah, because I don't want it to blend with the cake too much. Hmm. Then maybe... No, this is too pale, though, for me. I feel like this, no? I think that looks pretty nice. And I'm gonna have also, like, colorful confetti, probably, just flying around. Um, but I think I'm done, so I can start shading. Am I wrong? You're not, but it's also a color of... It's, it's the color of Dark Friend. Look at Dark Friend. He's yellow. And, uh, Lenka Gamine is yellow. Don't you love Lenka Gamine? Don't you love it? Don't you love it when he... When he opens his stupid mouth. <laughs> and so people are gonna think that I fucking hate Lan. Like, I, I feel like people actually might think that I hate Lan. But it's so funny, guys. I got so many followers. Lan is pissed, Kyle. You know what? He deserves it. He's a pissed baby. I got so many followers from um, that one drawing of Lan crying. Like, so many people fucking followed me and I was like, are you guys okay? Like, why is everyone liking this picture of Lenka Gamina crying and like following me? Like, everyone just want to hate on him. I 
Uh, yeah, guys, Kageminas are twenty percent off. You can get your Kagemina Len and Kagemina Ren. <laughs> it's Kagemina Len and Kagemina Ren. There's two lands. There's you can get both of your lands. You can get the land and the rand. <laughs> you can get the land Kagemina and then the female land Kagemina for twenty percent off. I'm just saying, I was not advertising Photoshop earlier, but I am advertising the Kagamine discount. So go get him. Go get the, 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 the male land, the female land. <laughs> it's a great investment. You will not regret it at all. I never regretted buying land. Well, that was, that's a lie, actually. But you know. For the sake of visa, maybe Krypton will sponsor me if I advertise. God, her tail is so complicated and for what? Like, why is her... Why is her tail so complicated? I don't get it. It has was like lines on it. Like what? Like sure, okay. And it's purple at the end there. <clears throat> Ooh, is that the oh, it is a correct brush. That's weird. <clears throat> I love this song. It's from. Mega Dimension Mega Mega Dimension Neptunia? Or is Hyper Dimension? But I saw only like Neptunia games. It's a Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. I think that's what it's called. I love it. I love that game. It was so stupid, but so fun. I also noticed I forgot to color these. So I need to find. What layer is this on? Oh, wait, what? No, that's not the color. Wait. <clears throat> I like Neptune. Well, I really like... I really like the V2 game. I'm sorry, I can't remember. I think it was called Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. Remember what it was called? I liked it a lot. Like, a lot. I played it through, I think, twice or maybe three times. Um, but I hated the one on the Switch. You know, the Super Neptunia RPG one. It was just so bad. Like, I don't know. It just didn't have that vibe. Like, I just didn't... I did not like it. And I watched the anime ages ago. But I, I didn't really like the anime that much either. But I haven't actually checked out any of the other games myself. Um, but I do, I do like the V2 game. I've been planning to play more of the game since they're available on PC. So I'm probably gonna get into them eventually. But yeah, the V2 one I absolutely love. Like, I don't know, like, it's like, it's so funny, like, it feels like, it's like a parody kind of game, you know? But, like, it's fun. That fish with a f human face and a really beautiful manly voice. Oh, amazing. Just amazing character. The rebirth. Yeah, I get. I I also get like um. I found like the bosses pretty difficult. I think because I didn't grind enough. Like I guess if you grind a lot, it's not that hard. But I was so, I'm so lazy to grind in RPG games. So, like, I would end up, like, being, like, I would redo the boss, like, a million times. Instead of just going back and just, like, grinding a bit more. Like, I was so, like, persistent. I would actually defeat the bosses even though my level was not high enough. Just, like, out of, like, pure, like, like, stubbornness. <laughs> Hi, Kokoron-chan. Welcome. How are you? Hmm. The Neptunia series requires hella grinding, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like most anime RPGs kinda do. Because I remember also 
kind of skipping because like you know how like when monsters run towards you and you just kind of like avoid them because you don't want to deal with them that's what i did like the entire game and the same thing happened to me with tales of zestiria <laughs> like I, I love tales of zestiria right like i was high, I probably had like my favorite like characters that on like an rpg game ever and like the opening slapped so hard but the fucking i swear like <laughs> the fucking grind like i would just avoid all the monsters and then i got to the final boss and i just couldn't do it i literally couldn't do it no matter how many times i replayed it i was like i need to go back and grind but i was so lazy so i actually never finished the final boss in zestiria like i love zestiria guys but i have no idea how it ends i have no idea how it ends because <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't watch the anime. I started watching the anime, but they changed so much in the very first episode. I got mad, so I didn't watch the anime anymore. Take me to the upgrade shop. <clears throat> Medalla is an idea factory game that's just too cringe. <laughs> That's the thing though, like in Neptunia, like they are super cringy, right? But that's kind of the point, because Neptunia is sort of like a parody of an RPG game. Like literally the whole time the main character says, don't worry guys, nothing is going to happen, I'm the main character. Like she, and she breaks the fourth wall so much, like she's constantly breaking the fourth wall. So I kind of don't mind it in Neptunia, but I do get what you mean. Oh no, I colored the pupils. And the eyes on the same layer, that shouldn't happen. That's not okay. Let's just get rid of that real quick. <laughs> that's not... That's not good. Come on, Lara. So distracted today. Jesus Christ. Oh, no! I was gonna post it maybe tonight. I don't know if I can. Five hours drawing stream, guys? Who's ready for that shit? Who's ready for five hour drawing stream? <laughs> Oh man. Hmm. Doesn't Lan sound great in this? Doesn't he, guys? Doesn't he? You're obligated to say yes. Only I can trash talk Lan Kagamine. Only I'm allowed to hate on him. <clears throat> 69 hour drawing stream. <laughs> Me, let's go. I live for cringe. Yeah, RPG games can be really difficult to get into. I don't really play anime RPGs that much. I feel like I lost interest. It's weird because I used to love them. Like I used to play, like I used to like try and buy them because I really like wanted to have anime games in general. Like I remember when I just discovered anime games when I just got a PlayStation. So like I was like, I want to play all of them. But then they all started feeling like very like same-ish, you know? I play a couple Tales games. I played Tales of Bers 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 Berseria, but I never actually finished it. I don't know. Hmm, it wasn't as good as Hysteria. Like, Hysteria was very picked, I think. And I also played Tales of Symphonia, I think. <clears throat> Minami, what did you delete? Minami, did you? Minami, did you diss Lenka Gamine? Did you? Hmm. Pretty articles about boring gameplay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess. I really enjoy. I mean, I know I enjoyed Dysteria, but I played mostly for the characters. I really like open world games. I also really like the kind of like big open world element that Dysteria had. Um, but like the best open world game I ever played was Breath of the Wild. I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> I'm actually replaying Breath of the Wild right now. Like I'm so stressed. I'm j I just play it before I go to sleep just to feel better. It's just something I do these days, because fucking hell. It's the only thing keeping me sane, replaying Breath of the Wild. But I guess Breath of the Wild is not really an RPG, you know? Well, maybe, no, not really. I guess not. 
Is a fantasia. I haven't really played those. The Legend of Dragoon. Did you know that Slant's fans are called Dragoons? <laughs> God, they're so talented. They gave her some really cool like songs and like art for her birthday. Like the songs are like really bopping. Dragoons are a great community. <laughs> Final Fantasy 69 Saga Frontier, I never heard about that one, let's see Saga Oh, it looks old 1997? That's insane. It's older than me. <laughs> oh wow, the art looks banging though. That retro anime art. Damn, look at those. Wow, I'm 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 attracted. I'm attracted to the characters on the promotional art. Damn. Damn. What the hell? Is that? Is that characters from the game? Rhea? Hold on, let me just paste it. Is it? This looks so... Oh boy. I'm attracted to all of them. Apart from the animal, of course. Like... Oh, the... Who's this guy? He looks really toxic and I kind of like that. Damn. And this lady too. She can gaslight girl boss me. This guy is cool. But this guy in the middle. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously not in-game graphics. I can see some screenshots already, but... Look at them! Like, a lot, no, right? I know, right? I'm gonna be holy shit! Like, hello? Damn! <laughs> nice stuff! Nice stuff! Uh, anyways... <laughs> Back to Salem. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I'm single, by the way, Miss. I'm available. It's such a mood, Minami. It's such a. Can we like share her? Can you? Can you maybe like date her on Tuesday, on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and I get her for the rest of the week. And on Sundays, we can both be with her. <laughs> it's Saga, Saga Frontier. Is that what it was called? Yeah, Rhea wrote it earlier. I quite like... Is the guy toxic asking for a friend? Is the guy toxic? The one with a cigarette? Is he? <laughs> I'm not interested in toxic man at all, I swear. <laughs> like... <laughs> I swear. Was that a Brooklyn reference? It wasn't! My man Minami, are you watching Brooklyn? <clears throat> Tiger series really was wonderful. He has a wonderful art style. Tiger Frontier 2, completely drawn with... Ooh... I love Tiger. Ooh, I love... I love good soundtracks in games. <clears throat> I'm not gonna finish this tonight, like, I don't know. Unless we actually do, like, a five-hour stream. <laughs> but it's fun so far, I'm not tired or anything. I thought I might be a little tired today because I had a pretty rough day. But I actually feel fine, so I might keep going for a while more. It's only been two hours. <laughs> At least for an hour more, I'll keep going. Do -do 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 -do. I'm 
complaining. Damn it, Minami. Well, you know what? Nonsense washed it with me. I forced nonsense when we were hanging out this weekend. It was really cold outside, so we decided to stay home on the second day. So we just watched Brooklyn all day. <laughs> it was fun. Oh, there's the police a second time. Nice. I watched the clips. You have to watch the whole thing, Minami. But yeah, I'm not sending the clips anymore because Nonsense watched it. So technically I'm free from my clip duty. But if anyone wants to watch it still, please do. It's great. It's amazing. It's so much fun. I can hardly save out. I can't wait to cover Pururin. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. <clears throat> oh, hi, Kichi. You came just on time for the police. Love that. How are you, Kichi? How are you doing? How's work? You probably don't want to talk about work. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> How's music? Or something? Anything? Tell me. <clears throat> I'm drawing my favorite VTuber. I kind of want to draw Prisoner Picora again, but I've drawn Prisoner Picora like two times, I think, and like one after the other as well. <laughs> <laughs> like what is wrong with me? Why am I like I just love her prisoner outfit so much? That's <clears throat> eh, okay. I'm just gonna go very simple shading today, just because yeah. Na, 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 na. Not very really like a crazy lighting kind of drawing or anything like that anyway, so maybe I will finish it. Kinda wanna do something with funky lighting one of these days, well. Oh yeah, is Rhea still here? <clears throat> <clears throat> Her name is Doll, who this mexy lady from the from the saga game. That's a cute name. What the fuck? Ria, you know I actually ended up drawing the Higurashi Hello Kitty collab. Like after you told me about it, it was like in my head, rent free, and I was like, I gotta draw. I got I gotta draw Rena with with with, with, with Hello Kitty. <laughs> It's just so cute, man. So cute. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna dip now, guys. See you around. Okay, no problem, Willa. Thank you so much for coming. I know you're busy these days, but thanks for thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Uh, whenever I see Willa in chat, I just think about how I need to keep my back straight because that that that, that one time Willa like threatened me with um. With a bat emoji and was like, keep your posture, Lara. <laughs> what? Someone's hair. Does it have any gradients in it? Not really, right? Well, a bit. It's a bit lighter at the end, I think, actually. And I'm making it darker. Fake fan. I'm a fake fan. Do do do. Alright. Well, I'll do the wings in more detail later. Maybe I can do like a funky. I don't know. No, I, mean, I don't think I'm gonna buy with a funky. I'm like tempted, but maybe not for this drawing. No funky. No funky lighting today. Too much brain power, but I don't have. <laughs> Fake fun. I know. I know. Oh man. But yeah, guys, Brooklyn Nine Nine is just so good, and just so and I just would like to say that I didn't bring it up. Minami brought it up, so blame Minami for me about to rant about Brooklyn Nine Nine for the next like hour. <laughs> no funky lighting today, guys. <laughs> funky lighting.
it has been kind of a disaster lately on stream. Well, Minami, you gotta agree. You gotta agree. It's been rough, so... It's of the best, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, I just love, love Brooklyn. Like, I think I'm like on my f like fourth rewatch of the whole thing currently. And I kind of just, whenever I don't have anything like new to watch, or I don't feel like starting something new and like getting into it, I just go back to Brooklyn. Or like when I'm working on things, because like I know it really well, you know, so I don't actually need to like keep a lot of attention, give a lot of attention to it. So I would just like put it in the background while I'm like working on like commissions or something like that. <laughs> and like it is so perfect. It's just so perfect. Too popular so I have to have some music recommendations. Thank you. Nice. We'll check them out after. <clears throat> so yeah. I'm just like Whenever, when in doubt, watch Brooklyn. That's just, that's just how I live my life. <laughs> and it has such nice, like, LGBT characters. Like, I don't know, and it talks about important things. I know I say a lot, but I just really like it. I feel like adult shows don't particularly, like, bother discussing, like, important things. I feel, it feels like it's something that they leave for children's shows. Like, get educated when you're a child. And then you don't need this kind of stuff and like adult stuff. But like, it still feels really nice to have like an episode about like racism and stuff like that, you know? Even if it's meant like, it's not like adults. You know, like adults can't be racist, I'm just saying. <laughs> but yeah. Am I doing a good job? I don't think I'm doing a good job. I feel like no one... I feel like my advertising for Brooklyn just doesn't work. It just doesn't work, man. Like, I do my best and then nobody... Nobody... Watches it. Like, Minami... Minami is closed, but just because I've been, like, brainwashing Minami. I'm just, like... I'm just, like, annoying Minami at this point. Like, Minami, watch it. Watch it. <laughs> Minami couldn't even watch, like, Monogatari and I'm, like, trying to make her watch Brooklyn. Watch Monogatari as well, guys. If you're a live-action fan, watch Monogatari. Great anime. Your yeah, advent is for Brooklyn doesn't work trying being a JoJo fan. Nonsense, JoJo is very popular. Stop being such a... Brooklyn is a hidden gem. <clears throat> Hi, Moreno. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Hmm. Masashi Hamauzu in particular makes great music to listen to while drawing or do other creative work. As a bad. Huh. Let's see. Masashi? I swear I can do this. Not popular enough, sure. I wonder if I know any of the music. I don't think so. Oh, they made Final Fantasy stuff? I see. <clears throat> it says Madoka Magica. I watched Madoka Magica already. <clears throat> no, 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 no. And Hosuki no Kuni as well. When is season 2 coming, Minami? When is season two coming? I'm I'm so sad. I wanna I wanna see more. I love Hoseki in the Queen, but I'm too lazy to read the manga. When is Chainsaw Man anime coming? I thought they said it would come in November. But then it never did. Did it? I read the manga, I read the whole manga, so I'm not too bothered by it. But I was interested in seeing it animated. For some reason I thought it was coming like November or something. They are hiring for season two. Ooh, that's not a good a good sign, though. <laughs> that means we haven't even started. <laughs> We're not gonna get it soon. And they're hiring. I don't know, Minami. Sounds 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 like they're not doing so well. 
I would definitely love to see more Hosuki no Kuni. Help the VOST for Final Fantasy. Best work is for the Saga series in particular. Cool. Is it the one that you sent into the Discord? <clears throat> I think you want anime to advertise like Yumi Nikki. God, if Yumi Nikki had an anime, Minami would lose would lose her shit. But I guess it's too like non-linear to have like um like an anime. Like I guess that was something that didn't really work for the 3D remake as well. Like it was sort of more linear. It wasn't as linear as like some games can be, but it was more linear than like um like the original <clears throat> i don't know what i'm doing with this hair coloring but it's not too bad hold on the music is gone as always more music <clears throat> one from kenjita one from masashi oh okay yeah there are non-linear series too like Monogatari. Come on, guy. Monogatari. <laughs> so I guess Monogatari just like has like a weird structure more. <clears throat> <laughs> the model. <laughs> I should just, I'm just like. <laughs> oh man. What? I didn't color that. Uh, where is it? What layer is it on? This? Yes. Beba with her endless layers. Never know. Whoa! Hold on. We don't do that here. Silly goose. Oh, Lara, oh, Lara, what? Oh, Lara, what, Kichi? Are you watching Monogatari? Are you gonna- Is that what you're gonna tell me? Kichi, it better be a fact that you're watching Monogatari. Like, oh, Lara, what? <laughs> it better be good news. Is it a good oh, Lara or a bad oh, Lara? Because I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried. <laughs> oh, Lara, oh, Lara, what? Monogatari was kind of interesting, but it's more a piece of art than a story. Monogatari is definitely a piece of art. So, like, I agree with you on that. Have you watched all of it, Rhea? I'm, I'm a huge Monogatari fan. <laughs> I just love it so much. I'm reading the books currently, but I'm being very slow with them because I'm very bad at reading these days. Reading is just not for me these days. <laughs> and my mom keeps nagging me, but she's like, you need to read books, Lara. And I'm like, I know, mom, but I can't. Like, I don't like I don't want to. I want to read books, but I fucking can't. My brain is like, what's that? What, what the fuck is that shit? That's not Twitter. And then I would go and like read like a really long tweet longer. Let's call someone out. And it's like as long as a like Monogatari novel. But I would still rather read that <laughs> than a fucking book. It's Stanley Parable to looks at getting an update video, which is an expansion to the base game? So is it happening in the end? Damn, but I already played it. Of course they do it right after I play it, guys. Like, why wouldn't they? Like, of course. <clears throat> I wish Baki Monogatari and Isu Monogatari was spring movies that I apparently played before all the Kizu Monogatari movies. Oh, the Kizu Monogatari movies are my favorite. But you shouldn't be watching them after Nisu Monogatari. That's not good. Kizu Monogatari is the best, but like... It's more satisfying if you watch it like towards the end, like you're supposed to. 
Because the whole time you don't know what they're talking about. You're like, what happened during spring break? What the fuck happened during spring break? And then you finally get to know and it's so satisfying. And it's all about Shinobu as well. Well, he's so shot. And like, mmm, my favorite. Like the way he's drawn. The way they're drawn. Man, you can't my, my tracking is not working. Hold on. Like this maybe? Yeah. <clears throat> like the way the Kizumonogatari movies, like their graphics are insane. They like went all out. I think the budget must have been like super big for those because like it looks crazy good. It like mixes 3D and it's rotoscoped. It's just it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Like the animation is so smooth as well. It's crazy how much effort they put into the Kizumonogatari movie. <clears throat> Is the other done by original developer giving some depression from that game? Well, really? That happened? I don't know about that. I wonder why. I thought it was a pretty good success. I don't really know what I'm doing with his hair coloring. Just do whatever the hell I want. <clears throat> oh yeah, I wanted to check flip flappers out as well. I heard very mixed like op opinions on it. Like, I remember, like, I don't know, some people say it's great, but some people say it's not really. Like, I don't know. Is it worth it? I'm watching Blue Period right now. It's like the only anime I'm, like, keeping up with at the moment. I really like it. Because, like, it's very relatable if you're into art and stuff, so. Ah. Probably shouldn't scribble too much over it. Looks a bit strange. I'm like, probably shouldn't scribble too much over it. I'm gonna scribble over it again. I can't control myself at all with the scribbles. And I'm just gonna add a couple more highlights. Sorry guys. I got so into the hair, I forgot about the chat. <clears throat> Something very psychological, yeah, magical girl. <laughs> I like psychological stuff as well. Like, I really enjoy it. So, I, I mean, I say that, but then I don't really like... Like, it depends. I like watching psychological stuff, but I don't always end up actually liking it by the time I finish it. I really like Perfect Blue. I think I saw... I don't know, did I talk about Perfect Blue on stream? Maybe we were talking about it in a voice chat, but I really love Perfect Blue. I would love to watch something with a similar vibe to Perfect Blue one day. Like, it just, just like, mmm, you know, it's got that psychological, like, mystery kind of um, feeling to it. But it's not, like, too crazy, like, Evangelion. <laughs> because Evangelion just genuinely drove me mad and I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Psychological the magical girls split floppers. I didn't know it was about magical girls. It's true that Minami hasn't watched it yet then. Ah, ah, ah. I do wanna check Minami tell me if you like it. If you if you end up watching it. Because I kinda of been thinking about it for a while as well. 
But I keep hearing like very mixed opinions on it. I want to watch Evangelion. Yeah, watch it because people should watch it like... I think people should watch it just to like form their own opinion on it. <laughs> but I personally... No, keep Evangelion away from me. Oh, this song is good. Do, 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 do. Whenever I try to think about anime that I really like, like, <laughs> not that many things come to, to mind, you know? It's weird. And <laughs> so that's I'm like, do I even like anime? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I haven't been watching it that much lately. I really enjoy NHK. I'm glad Puru 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 Rin, um made me watch NHK. I liked it. It was pretty good. I have never seen an anime like such like pretty like good like mental illness kind of um, discussion and representation. I guess I found the social anxiety kind of that it had in it super like accurate i haven't really seen anything like that like i was like damn i feel this character so much <laughs> but kind of i've never heard about that Maybe I have, I don't know. I'm scared to look it up. I looked up an anime Minami mentioned once and I, was, and I regret it to this day. What? I get a weird peek when I look up. <laughs> I can't know, Minami. <laughs> There's a weird CGI peek. <laughs> it is not spelled like that. How do I spell it? With two C's? <laughs> oh, there you go. Now I got an anime. Oh, it looks cool. I like the blonde guy. Is he toxic? <laughs> I like the girl with the eye patch. I've never heard of this. Boku Wow, well, apparently that's also an anime. Let's see. Let's see. That looks old. Holy shit. No, but it's not that old. No, it's pretty old. It looks old. That looks wild. That looks like something that would drive you insane. That looks crazy. I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna, I, I prefer Bacano. Whatever this is, it has hot characters. Oh, did you guys see? Did you guys watch The Great Pretender on, on, on Netflix? It's an anime. God, it's so cool. It's so much fun. I watched it back when it just came out. So like last year, I think? It came out or something? Oh, it's so cool. <clears throat> like, mm, it had such cool characters. And like, the plot, like you just didn't know where it was going. Like, they, they got me. And then they got me again. And then they got me again. And then they just kept getting me. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, how many plot twists can one show have? It was crazy. <laughs> Okada is like one of the most depressive stories ever. And he gave it to a director who said himself, I don't like sad endings. What the fuck? Mm. I like depressing stories, but I think right now I shouldn't do this to myself. <laughs> In my current mental state, I probably should stay away from depressing stories. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep watching Brooklyn. Na, 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 na. 
I'm gonna watch something depressing and, and think about how I'm probably failing game art. Ryan, please answer to my team's message. Maybe he answered, guys. Maybe he did. Let me check. Let me check. Maybe he answered while I was streaming. I know it's off work hours, but maybe he did an exception for me. Nope, he didn't. He did not answer me. Why? No, I'm telling you, he's gonna fucking... He's so going to show it in front of the class. Can I delete a team's message? Can I delete a team's message? And then he'll think... And then he'll think... He'll think that he dreamt it. Wait! channel and i was like i'm trying to put my archway model more into context of a bigger environment like you told me to yesterday i did some concept art with something like this work and he just put <laughs> croissant croissant emoji fuck you <laughs> no he just put a thumbs up reaction like not even a thumbs up like but like i was hoping maybe he would help me choose like maybe he'd be like, yeah, this one is best, or like, oh, maybe try this, no, he just put a thumbs up. And then he's like, guys, you don't communicate with me enough. Then he says something like, guys, you don't communicate with me enough. And you like, um... And then he like complains about my work not being what he expected. But like, what does he fucking expect from me if he just puts a fucking thumbs up emoji? He can just put a thumbs up emoji and then be like, "Lara, your work is not is not what I is not what I want." But he has no right to tell me that shit. He can criticize my whole concept if his reaction to my work is a thumbs up emoji. Like, <laughs> I generally woke up this morning and I thought, and I thought I was gonna fail his class, <laughs> and he just a fucking thumbs up emoji. Fuck you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> but I wanted him to help me choose. Which one should I go for? Guys, could you tell me which one should I go for? I sent them into the art channel earlier today. Damn. Wild. Gaslight gate him guilt trip. <laughs> Okay, croissant emoji, fuck you. Do you guys know what video I'm referring to? It's such a good video, it's such a good video. I wish I could play that song on stream. You can like seven thumbs up, you want fail class? Hell yeah, time to spam Ryan with um, concept art. <laughs> I like them all. <laughs> I think I like the like more sunset-y lighting. But I like the more city vibe that the last one has. I don't know. I might have to do more research. I don't know, I find environments extremely difficult. Like, one of the reasons why I'm stressing out about this so much is because I'm not really, like, an environment artist. I find it extremely hard to just come up with, like, environments out of, like, top of my head. Like, I have to look at lots of references. But then my work ends up looking a lot like the references I looked at, so I don't know. 
I just, I don't know, it's just hard for me to do environments. So, like, I'm, like, always stressed. So, I went for, like, a really simple one. I made it fairly simple on purpose because I didn't know... How, because I didn't have much time, first of all. And secondly, because I'm just not good at environments, you know? So, I was, like, I'd rather, like, make it really polished, but, like, simple, you know? But... It doesn't matter what I do, Ryan is never happy. <laughs> like, the way he just criticized my concept, but I was, like, already way beyond the point where I'm still thinking about the concept. Like, thumbs up emoji. For real, dude. Like, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> I don't know, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> Yeah, and the building is the fur one. Oh yeah, Minami is trying to say that I think she wants to see the second one, but with buildings from the third one. Hmm. My 3D model blends really well into it though. Like, I was going for like a painted style, but like you almost can't tell that it's a 3D model in the middle of the concept art. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think the sunset lighting is nice. I need to think around how to put the buildings at the background though. Because it's not like I'm actually gonna model them. So maybe I can put like a texture at the back. You see, I don't know how anything is done. Like I'm such an I'm so new to 3D. Like this is my third 3D project ever. This is my third time working on something in 3D. And my first time making like a proper environment. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm just gonna put like a picture, like a texture, and maybe like make it like spherical. I feel like a spherical texture is something that's done a lot in this kind of thing. Yeah, 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 something like that. I've seen it done, I just need to figure out how to do it in, an, in Unreal. And I've never worked in Unreal before, so that's been like a trip. And not a fun one, guys. Not a fun one. Fucking Unreal. Mitsuketa. It's a dog on her- oh no, it's a wrong layer. Okay, can't move that apparently. <laughs> it's a dog on her shirt, but for some reason when I saw it for the first time, I thought it was a pig. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that, but I thought it was a pig. So stupid, man. <laughs> I can't I'm giving you a positive picture of thumbs up. I don't want to get banned. No, that would be really funny, Ria. Do it. <laughs> Go nice and thumbs up emoji. Me and Kichi do it all the time. <laughs> like, I always want to comment on Kichi stuff with nice and a thumbs up emoji, but then I feel bad. <laughs> I don't like this brush for this. Maybe this one actually. Actually, so gradient first. <clears throat> no, give it a thumbs emoji. It would be funny. It's okay. <laughs> Are you guys just gonna react to everything I ever post with a thumbs up? <laughs> it would be funny. I can't believe he put a thumbs up. <laughs> like, a reaction, you know? Not even, like, a response. It was a reaction. Like, police. Oh, Minami, you're getting flower for Christmas? Nice. Man, Holly is getting Vocaloid 5. Minami is getting V flower. I never know what I'm getting for, like, New Year's. I didn't ask for anything. And my birthday is a week after New Year's, so my parents always try to brush it off like one gift for both because we're so close. I'm like, you guys just do it because we're so close to each other. Like, you shouldn't do that, but they don't care. They just give me one gift for both. <laughs> <clears throat> you put thumbs up at each other's work. <laughs> Man. But like, ironically or, or like, no. I like, I know, like, I get it, you know, but like, I just wanna. 
<laughs> I wanted feedback because he always gives me feedback like last second. Like he's always like nice, nice, yeah, this is nice, this is nice. And then suddenly he will call you out on something that he previously didn't comment on. And I'm like, sir, you didn't comment on this like last week, you know, like you said it was fine. But then suddenly it's a problem, you know, like I just don't get this man. I just don't get him. Hi, Emmeline Stars. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. <clears throat> How are you? Thumbs up at work saves so much time. Like, it was usually awkward to drop a discussion and get back to work. But now you can just thumbs up. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I know. I expected more from Ryan, I'm just saying. I expected more, so... <laughs> oh god, okay. Actually, I think I made the jacket a lot more purple than what it actually is. Like, it's more like... It's more like pastel or like... Grey-ish in the original, but I just made everything bright. I like bright colors, okay? Bright colors are great. Mm -mm, they slap. Man, I can't believe he betrayed me like that. Like, I'm upset now. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be upset because at least he didn't, like, ignore me like I thought initially. But, like, adding a... <laughs> he was like, oh, right, I forgot to respond to, to Lara. And <laughs> you're like, I'll just put a thumbs up emoji. <laughs> <clears throat> just tell him just tell him what how i don't like him gladly i already almost told him last week there is any fish what fish that's i think that's a mm. I'm gonna pretend like I like this shading. <laughs> Cause I can't I can't overthink it. Days of the day to overthink I, I, I spent all day overthinking things for a thumbs up emoji. <laughs> In front of class kind of like a middle thing. <laughs> Talking Minami, do you want me to get fucking expelled? I actually got into trouble for being rude to a teacher once back in school. I'm just like, I'm so honest. I'm doing my best not to be so honest with teachers anymore. <laughs> because I generally got into trouble several times. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I just say what I think and I should just really shut up sometimes. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Are you serious? A thumbs up? <laughs> yeah. Live life dangerously. Minami, the university is very expensive. <laughs> no, but like last week, because he was commenting, he was commenting like on my stuff, and like he told me to like redo something, right? And I was, and like I just looked really pissed off. And he was like, Do you hate me? And I was like, No comment. <laughs> With a really, really pissed off face. So I think he got the hint. <laughs> yeah, but we did talk about you also being really direct. I, know. I guess it really depends for me because like if I'm comfortable in an environment, I'm gonna be like an absolute fucking bitch. <laughs> but if I'm not, I'm gonna be actually very quiet. But yeah, I think I got too comfortable in school at some point. I was so rude. Like, like teachers would tell us to do things, and I would just like very like openly express that I don't want to, and I don't like it. And it would be like, you should, you should really like, you really shouldn't like ex be this direct about it, and just do your work. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> God, I will never forget how we accidentally shit talked my English teacher once. 
because like we were like in online it was when corona just happened it was the first lockdown it was my last year of school and we were in english online class and basically we were a very small group so we were all like really good friends um and the teacher left right because the class ended but we stayed to chat for like a bit longer and we started like shit talking her and like making fun of her and saying how we didn't want to do the work and how we were like really bored in class and how we didn't really listen and then we realized we did our presentation so it was getting recorded and so <laughs> like our faces when we realized that it's getting recorded <laughs> It was why we all quickly hanged up. We all quickly hanged up. And then we did like a group call on WhatsApp and we were like, what the fuck do we do? And then we noticed that she posted the recording later and it had that part of us she took in her cut out. So she definitely saw it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, pain. She never liked me and I think after that she probably just hated me, but luckily it was our last year and we were online for the rest of that year. So like I never actually saw her in the face. I never looked her in the eyes again, you know, so it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> hmm. The communication training is such a mood. And is that a thing you should write lyrics about how you want to kill people? That sounds a bit... A bit psychotic. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> I know I said some sketchy stuff today, but... <laughs> I'm quite... I feel like if I, if I really don't like a person... And if I don't see like a direct threat in them, I will absolutely fucking tell them. Like there was this dude in my school, he was so fucking annoying. He was so fucking annoying and I hated his guts. And I made it very clear, like, he kept trying to have conversations with me. I think because he was- he thought that I was just, like, being, like, um, edgy or, like, hard to get or whatever. But I generally just didn't like him. And I made sure he knew it. I just made sure he knew it. And it was- it was funny because, um... At some point I ended up, like, at a party with him. I was, like, on a birthday party and he was also there. And he was like really drunk and I was really sober because I don't drink and like everyone was really drunk and he just sat next to me and he was like, you know, you never liked me for no reason. And I told him, I don't need a reason to not like you. <laughs> I was like, I just don't like you, man. Get over it. Like, but everyone has to fucking like you. And then he gave me like a really long lecture about how I just liked him. And how, how I didn't like him, and how I didn't, and how he didn't do anything to deserve it. And I was just sitting there like, okay, what is your point? <laughs> uh, fun times. <clears throat> if you don't really, don't really accumulate hate, I accumulate a lot of hate. I'm a very petty person, actually. Like, I will like have a fight with you, and I will tell you everything I think about you. But then I will, but then I will keep being really salty about it for like the next five years. Like, I remember things people do to me, and I tell them that. I literally look at me in the eyes, and I'm like, I will remember this. I will fucking remember this. Like, remember when nonsense told me my course wasn't rocket science? I will fucking remember this. And she knows it. I've told her. <laughs> I simply avoid you at all costs. <laughs> I don't want to know you are existing. <laughs> yeah. That happens to me as well sometimes with some people. I guess it really depends on the person. Like, I guess I treat people differently at the end, so... I don't know. For me, it's like for some people, I'm just gonna be like, I fucking hate you, leave me alone. And then for others, I'm just gonna like quietly sit there and sit it and like hate them quietly. But most of the time, I don't pretend to like a person. Like, I don't, I'm not really the kind of person who would pretend to like someone. 
Like, I really don't like playing, like, this kind of, like, being nice to a person just because I feel like I have to. Like, I'm not gonna be, like, mean to them on purpose or anything. But I'm not gonna, like, like, pretend like we're friends or something either. Because, like, it just, it never turns out good. At least not for me. <clears throat> Man, the white and the hair got like completely rubbed off. <laughs> Let me just add it a bit more. With like a thinner pencil. There you go. Hmm. <laughs> I don't wanna add more detail in the hair, but now that I'm on the hair layer, I wanna add more detail. <laughs> stop it. Stop it now, Lara. Stop before it's too late. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I lied. I'm gonna add more detail to, to the hair pocket. There you go. Perfect. Done. Look how much better it looks, guys. It wouldn't have looked this good if I didn't add that one detail. I'm telling you. <clears throat> she told me in real life I did. I, I fucking did. I fucking did. <laughs> Never stop, Alter. Come on, we can't be here forever. My back is starting to hurt. I wish you're not really angry at people for long at all. Mm. I might think that I'm a friend. Oh, that happens to me as well, though. That happens to me as well. Like, a lot of my friends told me that they thought that I hated them. <laughs> like, a lot of my friends, and they were like, you know, when we were, like talk about like first impressions and stuff. Most of my friends were like, I thought you fucking hated me. And I was like, no, I liked you. Like, I'd be like, oh, I thought you were nice, and they'd be like, really? I thought you hated my guts. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I also have this, like, kind of, like, resting bitch face going on. So people kind of just generally think that I'm just, like, always unhappy about something. <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty chill most of the time. Most of the time. If you don't piss me off... I'm not gonna be like I'm not gonna be like mean on purpose or anything, you know? Like I only answer to violence with violence. But you know <laughs> not with that attitude. <clears throat> what about the front here, like the bangs? You want more detail there? I heard you. I'll do it after I do the stockings because that also feels really nice to color. No, maybe not like this. Maybe shadow from a skirt. I know. Relationships are weird, man. Like, the other day, I was going to university. Well, the other day, that was yesterday. <laughs> the one day I go to uni, on well, Tuesdays, um, I, I met this guy from my class on the station, right? And he, like, talked to me the whole way to the university. And I was like, why the fuck is he talking to me? <laughs> like, he seemed so, like, interested. He was like, oh, how was your weekend? And he was like, oh, what did you... Because uh, like, I was like, oh, we just watched Netflix with my friend. He's like, oh, what did you guys watch? And I was like, I can't tell if he's genuinely... Because like, whenever people like talk to me, I'm like, but are they like, actually interested or are they just being nice, you know? <laughs> For some reason, I keep thinking that like, nobody actually cares about me. But he seemed like genuinely like interested in having a conversation with me. And I was like, this feels weird. <laughs> this feels wrong. Why is this guy being so, like, nice to me? We barely know each other. We see each other once a week. Like, what is going on? <clears throat> I used to think Lara didn't like me that much. <laughs> but then one day she said something about me being her best friend. <laughs> I just have that vibe. I just have that vibe, you know? Like... I'm out there being like really like I'm not like mean I'd say but like I guess I'm just not like particular I don't really like express I don't particularly like express like affection that much towards people. Now I don't really know why. 
Maybe it's my Russian upbringing, but I'm really bad at showing affection. And it makes me feel really awkward whenever people are like nice to me or like show affection. I'm like, what do I do? How do I respond to this? <laughs> Which is weird because my mom is like super affectionate towards me as well. So like, maybe I just got too much affection, guys. Could that be it? <laughs> but I'm like, I'm not like emotionally like, um, I just don't have that emotional intelligence, you know? Damn, those legs look good. They look thick. Oh man, this song is good. <clears throat> yeah, the legs look pretty thick, don't they? <laughs> they got that volume. <laughs> it's interesting to me how different people react to criticism. How goes give me more, or how goes back? <laughs> I go back up, but then inside I go give me more. I come from a place where they get mad at me for no reason, so it's hard to you know, see that in hours. Mm, that sucks. Okay, let's add more detail to the hair. Since people are asking for it. What was it? The front hair? You got it. You got it. I'm not doing this because I want to. I'm doing this because people, because people let me know. Also, that there shouldn't be there. And there should be skin. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not really making friends in university. Or at least I don't feel like I am. Maybe I am. I just don't like realize it because I'm like that. Because I find I do take a long time to start considering someone a friend. Mostly because I don't know, I'm kind of like scared. I'm like, oh, what if I consider them a friend? But they don't consider me a friend. <laughs> Nonsense! Did that thing where you thought we weren't friends, did that happen before or after you started mixing for me? Because I would feel really bad if you have if you were mixing for me and I, and you think and you thought that I didn't even consider you a friend. That would be fucking horrible. <laughs> okay, like bands have less details than the rest of the hair and it stands out. Hmm. Yeah, they are lighter in color, but that doesn't mean that they can't have more shading, so we can add some. Maybe darker here. Ooh, that's a nice color. Whoops. Hmm. Maybe just some highlights in the bank or something. I keep wanting to say, oh, I like this song too, but then, like, it's my playlist. I need to stop praising my own playlist. Like, of course you like those songs, Lara. You put them there. Why would you put songs you don't like on your playlist? Wilding. I'm not gonna go into my detail on the braids, though, well, because braids are so hard for me. Braids are the hardest things to draw. Fucking Pecora and her braids always driving me insane. I see everyone as friends, honestly. May I wish I was like that. I feel like really self-conscious. Like sometimes I want to call someone my friend. But I'm like, what if they don't consider me a friend, you know? So I'm like, oh, I'm not going to call them my friend. Until they call me a friend first. I think it was definitely before. I think when we were still talking on Instagram and mixing settle everything though. That's when I thought, okay, I trust her with my life. <laughs> Why? I was the one trusting you in my life. <laughs> Man, I was like, nonsense, mix for me. And nonsense was like, that's it. This woman right here. <laughs> uh, that's funny. No, but like a lot of my friends have told me that they fought. But I didn't really consider them my friend. But I'm just a really careful person, you see? I'm a really like 
careful per like I consider myself pretty careful. I don't like it when people get into like my personal space or get or try to get too close like too quickly. Like I need some time sometimes to just warm up to a person. Like I don't know. It's it's weird. Like I just kinda like mm, I just need time with some people. Because I don't feel like I feel like sometimes like what if I end up like not liking the person or something, you know? Like when you I feel like I don't really know people enough sometimes to like start considering them like a best friend or something like that, you know? <clears throat> maybe I should start treating it more casually. Maybe that's a childish thing to do. <laughs> maybe we just start making friends normally. Like normal people. Otherwise I will never have any at university. Yeah, maybe that's better for the hair shading now. Hmm. A bit more detailed. But I'm not gonna get lost in the details. I'm just gonna add some yellow highlights so it kind of reflects the background. Might give it a nice touch. Do do do. <clears throat> Am I your friend? <laughs> Alter, you're definitely my friend. <clears throat> I feel like if you give all the criticism, you are remembered better. Several YouTubers notice you because you give them criticism. You're such a chad, Ria. You're such a chad. I mean, I... I don't mind considering you a friend. But like, only if you want to be friends with me. <laughs> we need to talk more, though, Ria. You should come to the... You should come to the Discord more often. There are some people, but I'm, I'm trying to like get them to like chat on the Discord more. And they're refusing the carrot. Where's carrot? Carrot. I want Carrot to chat to me more. They're a fellow Hololive stan. And every couple times we were like in voice chat, it was a lot of fun. I want Carrot on the Discord more, and I want Rhea on the Discord more as well. So we can definitely, we can definitely like severe our, ho our, ho our homie bonds. We can be like, um... Wait, severe is not the word? That's the opposite. Or is it? <laughs> I don't know English. Never mind. Forget what I'm saying. <laughs> hmm. Do, 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 do. You're permanently on the Discord. Let's see. More yellow. Yeah, I had a couple like bad experiences as a child. Or like when I was in school. Again, I had like a really, really, really bad friendship. Um back in school. It was it was bad, man. Like and it kind of made me I think that's what kind of made me like so aware of like people I'm friends with and stuff. Like I don't know, I just became like super careful. And some people, some people just don't really like, um... Some people just don't respect the fact that you can be a more, like, careful person. I'm not gonna say any names. But someone really tried to, like, really get, like, too close to me without me being happy about it. But it's okay. They paid for that. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Hmm. You call your best friend an alien? Damn. I don't really know. I was especially super scared of calling people best friends. Like, there are very few people who I would actually call a best friend. I actually didn't use the term best friend for the longest time after, like, some really bad experiences. <laughs> so whenever people, like, refer to me as, like, a best friend, I would be like, is that really okay? 
is it really okay to like be called someone's best friend you know something like that and also i feel like i realized because when i was a kid i thought that you can only have like one best friend and that's it and everyone else is just a regular friend but you can have several best friends you know <laughs> like, like i guess you're closer with some people than with ours like it's only normal but you can have several friends but you consider your best friends you know <clears throat> The only thing you need to define a romantic relationship, I was a matter of respect. I mean, I guess it's, I mean, I don't know. I think people just have different boundaries. Like some people, even with friendships, like there are just some things that like, again, like I just don't like it when people get too close to me too quickly. I'm just not a big fan of that. Like, I don't know. Okay, I got lost in the hair details of this whole talk that we've been having, guys. And you didn't even stop me. But I think I might finish this today if I hurry the fuck up. <laughs> Abby is my best friend, but also my childhood friend. <gasps> Nonsense, you have other best friends? How dare you, nonsense. No, no, I was talking about myself back there. I can have several best friends. You can. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, man. <clears throat> you know what that reminded me of? Did you guys ever see that meme? It's like from some TV show. It's like this person is like, you're the, um... You're the most jealous man, I know. And he goes, you know other man? <laughs> That's such a mood. <laughs> You're the most jealous man, you know other man? That's me. <laughs> <clears throat> My best friend just outright disappeared. She blocked me on Discord, deleted her account. There's an answer call. Is your friend dead? Is your friend okay? I wonder. But like, did you get like any like warning at all because it's a bit weird but sometimes people need a break so sometimes people do delete accounts and stuff like that just for the sake of like um getting some space i guess but it's weird to do so without a warning very strange i don't know i had i had an interesting friend experience this year but i'm not gonna discuss it on stream people who know know Let's just say I'm too toxic. <laughs> I'm too toxic to have friends. <laughs> well, that's fine. People call, call Selene toxic all the time as well. And if Selene is toxic, I can be toxic. She's my role model. She's a queen. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. That would be a code the account be deleted. That's strange. Maybe, maybe, maybe she wanted some space. Who knows? I obviously don't know that person, so... All I can do is make assumptions. Hmm. Yeah, getting, getting attached is weird. We have such a deep conversation tonight, guys. What's going on? <laughs> but yeah. I get attached to people a little bit too easily. I, it's, a, it's something I kind of recognize in myself. Like... I tend to get attached, but I do my best not to like overstep anything until I know that I'm like allowed to be attached. <laughs> Once I know I'm allowed to be attached, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fucking attached, okay? Like Yeah, that looks fine. What do we have next? Skirt. I think I'm gonna make the skirt. Mm, what brush? Maybe I'll do it with the soft brush. Let's see. Hmm. Do -do -do. 
I quite like that, yeah. <clears throat> I used to get attached a lot, but I'm less dependent on others now. Yeah, I think I'm also like that now, but I also don't really have that many friends. Most of my friends at the moment are people who I'm like pretty much like settled with for a while. So like... I know, maybe this doesn't apply to me at the moment. <laughs> but I remember, I remember being like super attached to nonsense. <laughs> and I don't know, like I'm not anymore, you know, but like I mean like in like um... Because I remember when I did like... Because like she was like always super supportive in like all the things like I did, like my music and like my first stream. She was there like at all the first, very very first streams, you know? And so I remember um, whenever I like streamed, I would get like super stressed out. If I was, I would get like super stressed out if nonsense wasn't there. Like, I would be like, oh man, oh man. Like, I would just be like, if this nonsense coming into the stream because, like, I can't do it without her. I can't do this without nonsense. <laughs> but now I'm like, chill. Now I'm like, chill. Now I'm like, nonsense has a life. Nonsense has a life. And that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, back then I would be like, man, if nonsense is not my song premiere, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> uh, whoops, what did I do here? <laughs> no, but now I'm more chill now. I'm more chill now. <clears throat> It's such a weird coloring. I feel like I don't normally color like that. Maybe I just haven't drawn for myself that much lately. <laughs> Lara, our friendship is a JoJo reference. <laughs> Does this mean Lara is a super nice to JoJo indirectly? <clears throat> I get that too easily as well. Before the VTuber thing, I basically didn't talk with new people for like 10 years. Hmm. To be fair, becoming like like a streamer, like doing the whole VTuber thing, it brought me closer with like so many people because I honestly never really spoke to anyone. Like my only like two friends online were Holly. Yeah, they were like Holly and Nonsense and Vanya as well. So like I basically just talked to like those three people and that's it. But like when I started VTubing, I started talking to a lot more people like because I would get like regular viewers and it brought me closer with people who I knew before but didn't really talk to like Minami because me and Minami, we have been mutuals on fucking Instagram for years. Like me and Minami, we go back to Vocaloid Amino days, okay? But like I never spoke to like I spoke to Minami occasionally, but not like too much. I thought Minami hated me. I was like, I think I annoy Minami because Minami never responds to my messages. <laughs> but now me and Minami are like homies. Me and Minami are fucking homies now, guys. It's crazy. Oh, there's the police. There's a preferred time, guys. They're going wild today. People just keep getting stabbed tonight. Good for them. <laughs> <clears throat> when I first found about the VTuber idol thing, I was like, maybe this is the type of relationship for me since even if I get too attached, I can't really annoy them. <laughs> Damn. I mean, just be careful with the whole parasocial relationship thing, because that's not good with like content creators and stuff like that. <clears throat> But yeah, I feel like I became a lot more social thanks to like the whole streaming thing. I, I definitely talk to more people now, on stream and off stream. I want to make more friends with, v with our VTubers. I'm not very good at befriending our VTubers, I'm too shy though. <laughs> Unless they like reach out to me first or something most of the time. I don't really talk to our VTubers that much. But I'm hoping to maybe make more VTuber friends eventually. If baby steps. Another police? Are they alright? Are they okay out there? 
I started talking to a lot more people because of your VTube. <laughs> Great. I started speaking to like Vanya. <clears throat> Did you know Vanya? But I guess I talked about him, but I didn't actually know him. <clears throat> me 10 years ago, they like, hi, what hobbies do you have? Can I have your phone number? And then they were creeped out by me because I advanced the relationship too fast. I guess that happens. I am a bit careful around strangers. But I think I, because like on the internet, I get easier to talk to strangers without like feeling like you're too close or something. Or like having more casual conversations. Like in real life, it's a bit harder. Like I do, I am a lot more careful in real life um, with like people. What is this layout? Hmm. <clears throat> 56 layers. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad at all. I mean, I should have recorded a time lapse of this, but whatever. Too late. I always forget the time lapse feature exists. <laughs> like always. <clears throat> now I'm gonna join a VTuber stream and hear a voice and about having to talk or ask for a phone number. <laughs> I'll give you my phone number, yeah? Wink, wink. I have three phone numbers I have a Russian one, a Spanish one, and an English one. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize again. No, it's fine, Minami. It's fine. I get it. It's okay. We are homies now. We played Yuminiki together, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters, Minami. It's not how we got here, it's where we are right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm being creepy because people have called me out on advancing too quickly. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not that kind of person. I don't, I don't really think so. I'm more like of a passive person. Like if someone talks to me, I will respond. But I very rarely actually start conversations myself because I'm just I'm just really self-conscious, man. Should've done the cream on a separate layer, but okay. Maybe it is cheese, guys. It looks, look, it's yellow on the inside. You guys survive. This cake is just cheese. Let's go. Cheesecake. I love cheesecake. With like some raspberry jam. Mm. <laughs> we homies. I probably wouldn't be here if we remember Holly. Yeah, Holly is a queen. Holly just like dragged us together. Alter. And now we're homies. <clears throat> what about WhatsApp, Ria? WhatsApp is free. <laughs> Damn, Ria just doesn't want to give me their phone number. I'm joking, by the way. Please don't think that I'm like <laughs> being weird or something. See how brave I get on stream, guys. See how brave. Would never do that in person. Slan macaron. Is it macaron or macaroon? Like apparently there's a big difference, but I'm not aware of a macaron and a macaroon difference. I just call them all macaron. I really want some macarons now, man. I just get like a craving for macarons randomly, like out of nowhere on some days. And like I really want some, I don't know where to get them. Probably plenty of places in London, but I'm so lazy to go. I should look up like best macarons in London and just go there and spend all my money. Hmm. <clears throat> I want to talk about it. I don't want to be all over the place, you know, how many times I wanted to talk on the channel, but I stole myself. Minami, I mean, you can talk all you want. It's fine. Don't worry. Look at how much nonsense spams Jojo stuff. Do you really feel ashamed for talking after that? You shouldn't. <laughs> God, you guys sending such long messages. What provoked this conversation? Like, where did it all start? <laughs> Hmm. 
Oops, I didn't equip this layer. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Talk all you want me to me. Yeah, talk all you want me to me. <clears throat> yeah, people... I mean, I think it's important to be careful on the internet. Like, it's just... um, Like, I understand. I would be, be safe and sorry, you know? So yeah, I'm very careful with, like, most people on the internet. But, like... I'm especially going to be careful with people on the internet now. <laughs> After what happened... <laughs> to me. <laughs> wild times. Wild times. Hmm. <laughs> just Chinese. It's just, we're at the Chinese Vocaloid song phase of the playlist, guys. So it's just gonna be Chinese songs now. We're at, we're at that point of the playlist where we just listen to Chinese Vocaloids. No, I mean, I mean, you don't talk too that much. Don't worry. Besides, I appreciate people talking in my chat. Like, honestly, fucking talk in my chat. Fucking spam my chat. Do it. I don't know if you're actually being hurtful. Just fucking talk. Because, like, I love an active chat, guys. I, like, I try to, like, engage you guys as much as possible. But, like, you know, can't just be talking to myself all the time. So, like, if you ever want to talk about something, like, unrelated... Or like start a conversation about something in my chat. Feel free. As long as it's nothing bad, feel free to, to have a chat. No problem at all. <clears throat> I feel like I can safely annoy my friends to an extent because they know me and can ignore me. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I guess it does feel weird if there's, like, mistrust. I do my best not to be like that, but... <clears throat> no rule to not talk to other chat members? What? Why wouldn't you talk to other chat members? I don't get it. Like, maybe don't have, like, a conversation that just, like, excludes everyone else. But, like, why the hell not? I don't really get it. I don't know, I find some rules on like VTuber channels a bit too strict. I think it makes sense if you're like a really big channel because you do get like a lot of messages and you would rather stay on topic and stuff like that. I do understand that, but I'm not a big channel. And like I would rather you guys just spoke to each other like casually than constantly kept your attention on me, you know? And you know, sometimes you guys talk about something among yourselves. And I kind of like uh, pick up on that and then join the conversation. <laughs> I do sometimes feel awkward because it feels like you guys are talking to each other. And I'm like, is it okay for me to comment on it? Am I a part of this conversation? Like, am I? <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna join all of your conversations. You can stop me. Okay, let's make... Him a bit more fluffy. I, he has a fluffy vibe, right? I think, I think, yeah, make mm, fluffy. Let's go. Maybe not too fluffy, but fluffy. <clears throat> I mean, I love this song. So fun. Damn. 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 <laughs> Should have been him really scribbly. Every time I was talking to Alter all the time, I was like, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I feel so unnecessary compared to you guys. Yeah, no, just maybe just don't spam Jojo 
Jojo gifts too much. I remember that you're good. <laughs> I don't really mind it. I feel bad for people that join our Discord and then don't talk. But like then they probably just get all these like notifications. Like the Discord just pops off sometimes, especially when Holly. Like when both Holly no and Nonsense are online, it's chaos. Because I feel like Holly and Nonsense are the ones who like talk most. Ethan only comes in with like smart comments and then leaves, or like jokes and then leaves. Kichi is only there when we voice chat. Like Kichi only is there during voice chats most of the time, <laughs> which I find really funny. <clears throat> I mean, I'm just kind of like there complaining about my my <laughs> my game arts teacher. <laughs> Sometimes I feel self-conscious about talking on the Discord, guys. Sometimes I'm like, man, maybe I shouldn't share that. Like I start typing and then I'm like, why would I share that? And then I'm like, bruh, it's my own Discord. Like, why am I being so self-conscious? It's my own server. Like, why am I thinking that I shouldn't be talking about something? <laughs> Oh man, that's so funny. I even made myself like an OC channel just to like indulge in my own OCs. <laughs> Me and Holly are at the party, yeah, of course. You guys have to be two extroverts. Sure, Minami, you can stream whatever you want. Of course you can. Just give a- maybe like, um, I know, tell us if you're gonna do it so that I know and can join if I have the time. Because sometimes people like go into the voice chat and they don't say anything. And I don't notice that they're there and I'm like, no! You know? <laughs> I try to like give a heads up, I should say something like, oh, I'm gonna go stream this in the voice chat and stuff. I feel like people are just more aware of them, since you don't really get a notification if someone goes into voice chat. I thought there was another police coming and I was about to flip out, but it was just, um... It was the song that had like a weird sound that sounded like a siren to me. Woofy foof. Da -na 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 -na. I mean, I love fluffy dragons. I think he's more like feather even fluffy, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> I think there are two types of people here. Those that are good at starting conversation and those that are good at reacting to conversations. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a pretty accurate, like, description. Hmm. Man, I used to be, like, super... On my, like, very first, like, streams... Sometimes I would just, like, go really quiet. But, like... Not because, like, I didn't have anything to, like, talk about, but I felt like, oh, should I talk about... Like, I felt like, oh, what if I start, like, a conversation, you know? And people do not respond. Because a couple of times I did talk about stuff and I got, like, no response. But then I thought I would rather just talk about nothing and like anything than be quiet, you know? And I actually started like a random conversation about how we burned spaghetti once. And everyone joined in and they were like all talking about like cooking experiences and stuff. And I was like, wow, people are like joining in the conversation I started on stream, you know? So that gave me confidence to just like keep talking. Like one of the things I learned for streams is just, just keep talking. Even if it's just like how you want to eat Lenin's corpse. Just keep talking. Even if it's about Australia not being real. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. I'm not really like I'm not really good at making friends or like starting like a conversation or like a relationship. Like I kinda need to be pushed. I need to be pushed just a little bit into like a conversation. But generally, once I, like, do get used to you and, like, warm up to you, I'm not gonna shut the fuck up. Like, once you know me and once I'm comfortable with you, like, get ready because I'm not gonna shut the fuck up. Like, I'm just gonna be talking and talking and talking <laughs> about things I like, like Vocaloid, Monogatari, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm just gonna be like that. <laughs> Oh 
Oh man, my neck hurts. I should really sit properly. <clears throat> oh really? For me on Twitter, like sometimes I want to respond to a person, especially if they're like sharing something, but I feel sad. Well, sad? That's not the word. What's wrong with my vocabulary today? I feel like awkward, you know? I'm like, oh, I want to like engage in a conversation or like tell, tell something to them but like i feel like weird I'm like oh what if it's like weird since we don't really talk much so i just like the tweet <laughs> i just like the tweet so someone, someone might be like my dog died and i'm like like <laughs> i'm not liking that your dog died i'm just like it's like my way of like being um social you know I'm sorry if I liked your post about your dog dying, people. <laughs> That's not how I mean it. <laughs> Thumbs up and watch it. <laughs> oh no, suddenly... Suddenly... <laughs> suddenly I sound a lot like Ryan. I have become what I fear the most. <laughs> My game arts teacher. <laughs> oh no, Reap. Reap, reap, reap. Now my favorite thing is how much I use lol in text. Like sometimes I put lol twice in one sentence and I'm like, what is wrong with me? Why do I talk like that? Like I just add LMAO at the end of things to make them sound like I'm not hurt or to make myself feel more emotionally detached when actually I feel greatly for this situation. I'd be like, haha, I'm very, I'm very, I'm depressed today, LMAO. <laughs> and in real, I just, it just, it's my nervous laugh at the end, <laughs> you know? <laughs> my nervous laugh at the end of my sentences is me saying LMAO. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> like that. Like that. <laughs> oh god, what is wrong with me? Hmm. <clears throat> My dog died, let's go. <laughs> the Ryan and you, Lara, is shocked. <laughs> no, not the Ryan and me. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the eye shading. I always leave shading the eyes to the last part because I. Oops, wrong color. I forget her eyes are a different color. It's like one of my favorite parts. After getting to scribble over everything, which is also like the very last part. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you did homework early today. I did homework all day today. I missed live drawing today because I was doing stupid concepts for Ryan. And all he gave me was a thumbs up emoji. He thinks I'm not gonna be salty because I fucking am gonna be salty. Like, he crossed the line there. Like, he just made a very powerful and very petty enemy, okay? <laughs> I'm a VTuber, he'll regret this. I'll complain about him every stream. Yeah, this one girl from my university comes occasionally on stream. And it's funny because she also complains about him and he doesn't even teach her. She's on a different like pathway from me. He's not her teacher and she still complained about him. Like I found that so fucking funny. Like his impact guys. His impact is insane. Doesn't even teach her and, and she's upset with him. <clears throat> Ryan this <laughs> Alter, we get it, you're old. You don't do homework. <clears throat> I don't even know what's worse. Having like a job that's like a lot of hours. Or having to come back from school and having to do homework. But to be fair, the homework I was getting in my school in Spain was absolutely nothing compared to the homework I would get... Um, in russia like back in russia they gave us so much homework they gave homework every 
single day on every single subject like on every single subject you would expect to have homework for the next time you have that subject it was actually insane like i would come back home from school from school when i back when i lived in russia and i would just do homework all night like i had no free time back then and then i came to my to like my, my school in spain and everyone in the and then like just like most like relaxed european people everywhere and they were on there like they were barely giving us any homework and we would get homework only for like very big subjects like english and it wasn't even that much like it would get it could get done very quickly and i would be like and i would be like what the fuck you guys like don't get any fucking homework like what the fuck <laughs> like i would just be like what what they don't give homework in like in this in like this spanish school i was like what the fuck is going on okay now let's do the line art color the most satisfying part <laughs> i'm still not happy with the neck but you know way too late to change that if it makes you feel any better, I had to dead us write a whole music theory book for my last theory final. The fuck? That's crazy. What it looks like your thesis or something? <clears throat> no, they do give homework, Minami, but it's nothing compared to the homework I would get like um in Russian school. I'm telling you, like Russian schools are insane. If I have actually had like fear for the longest time that what if I will have to go back to Russia and finish school there? But like before I graduate, one of my biggest fear was what if I ever have to go back to Russia? Because I just knew that I couldn't handle their educational system anymore because I'm just not used to it anymore. Like I'm just not like because first of all the level of work is a lot higher as well. Like maths were getting so advanced when I was leaving Russia. Like when I was leaving Russia when I was in sixth grade maths were already way too much for me to handle like i could not keep up with the maths and, and some of the other subjects but then i came to spain and they were doing fractions and i was like you guys are doing fractions like in sixth grade and i was just a bit like you guys are just doing fractions now <laughs> And then we kept doing fractions for like fucking years. Like maths in, in like Russian school is an absolute nightmare. So yeah, I was like really scared. Like what if I ever have to go back to Russia and like do the final exams there? Luckily that didn't happen. But that was like a very long... No, not the frog fraction game, Minami. Not the frog fraction game. I know how to do fractions. It was the only thing I knew how to do. <laughs> it's good for education. Sure it is. Oh man, my neck. Why is my neck so stiff? Is it because of my horrible posture? It can't be. It can't be my horrible posture. Why would it be? That's not possible. Mm, maybe I'll keep this line art pretty dark. Yeah. It just starts blending weirdly. Frog fraction. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, what the fuck is it? Like, what am I looking at? Man, what should I eat after this? It's too late to start making dinner. Maybe I'll have Pringles. You know what guys nonsense brought me? Two cans of Pringles, like the big ones. I was like, what the fuck, girl? <laughs> How come you moved to UK at such a young age? Oh, I didn't move to UK at a young age. I moved to UK for university. I, um, I've only been living in the UK for one year now because of university i moved to spain at a young age um for school well yeah basically it was funny it's funny now it's funny now but back then it was terrifying but basically one day my parents were like you're gonna study abroad we're sp we're sending you to a school in spain you're gonna live with a host family and i was like what just they just sent me 
off to a different country without like any like proper warning like i said they told me like a month before like i swear and i had to go to my best friend at the time and i was like so i'm leaving to spain forever <laughs> They sent me to like because basically the thing is my part I, I had like an like a like a study visa right so I was allowed to live there for a while but my parents didn't have the documents yet to move there like the plan was that they would also move there with me but at the moment they didn't have all the documents ready for that so they couldn't stay for a very long time because we didn't have a visa so I had to live with like a family and I had the worst roommate like I had the worst fucking roommate at that family like we shared a room. Like, she was such a menace. She liked Justin Bieber. And she was so mean to me all the time. But the lady who I lived with, like, the host family lady, she was extremely nice. They were, like, a Ukrainian family. So they made, like, very good food. And they spoke Russian. But the school was a nightmare. It was the first school I went to. Because, it accepted, because basically, back then, I didn't speak any English. I knew zero English. I knew like a couple words, but I couldn't speak English at all. And the school was fully in English. And nobody really like spoke... Like, there were a couple of Russian people, you know? But like, so... But most people sp spoke English. So I literally had to learn English like on the fly just to survive. <laughs> and my grades were horrible at the beginning. I was failing subjects because I didn't know any English. So like I didn't know what the subjects were even about, but like in half a in half a year, guys, in half a year I was fluent in English. <laughs> That's how I learned English through survival. <laughs> I just had to learn it to like to 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 stay in that school. Uh, <laughs> looking back, would you say it was a good thing? I mean, I am incredibly... I don't want to go back to Russia. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, Russia is a nightmare. I don't like Russia. Like, compared to, to, to like living in Russia, it's definitely a lot better. But it was really, like, it was really tough. I wasn't having a good time, especially at the beginning. And I felt really, like, away from my parents. Like... I don't know, I really like missed my mom. I remember, I remember my mom, at the time I was really into like Monster High dolls. That was back when Monster High dolls were like a big deal, you know, like at peak of their popularity. And I think my mom also felt extremely bad for like having to leave me there by myself because she couldn't stay. And like she would just buy me Monster High dolls whenever she came to visit. Just to like make me, I had to, I, guys. The sheer amount of Monster High dolls I acquired, like PT Monster High dolls I acquired from them and from my, my parents, like friends as well. Just because like they were like trying to cheer me up. <laughs> like half of my Monster High doll collection is from those like two years. It was like two first years of my life there. <laughs> because, <laughs> because I was just so sad. <laughs> But like, yeah, it was, it was, um, and I also, I had a very bad experience in that first school. I moved schools after a year, uh, no, after a year and a half, I think I moved schools because I only started off in that first school because we accepted people with any level of English, but the plan was for me to go into a different school, but you needed to have a certain level of English first. So I went to that school first to learn English. And then after my English was good. I got accepted into the other school, so I changed schools. But that first school was an actual nightmare. I don't want to get into it too much, but like, I was straight up fucking bullied there. And like, sometimes I look back on it and I'm like, are all of my insecurities from that school? Yes, I think so. <laughs> like, I did as look back at it and I'm like, I think I'm insecure because of that one school I went to when I just moved to Spain. And I used to be such a social pro- I used to be like a super social person, believe it or not, guys. But like, that school fucking broke me. <laughs> that school fucking broke me. Like, and my mom was also like, you know, 
I feel like it became very antisocial after moving to Spain and I was like, yeah, mom, no shit. <laughs> <clears throat> I taught myself English very early at age six because I wanted to play JRPGs, but then they were all in English. You see? You see? I played games in English when I was little as well, but I never it never actually like made me want to learn English. Instead, I just did like everything for like muscle memory. Like I would remember what buttons and the menus did what and stuff like that, and I would just guess. I would just guess plots. I would just guess plots of games. I wouldn't know what's going on, but I vibe with them anyway. Like I played so many games in English without ever having an idea what what I'm even playing, but like I vibed. I vibed. I didn't learn English through that. I only I only learned how to adapt to the situation, but not actually how to like <laughs> how to like grow more proficient at something. I'm not good at language. I think some people are just better at like learn kind of like just like learning languages very quickly. Like I don't think I can ever learn language through just like through a media. Like I know some Japanese words, right, through like watching anime and VTubers, but I don't speak Japanese. Like, there are some people out there who are like, yeah, I learned Japanese through watching anime and watching VTubers. And I was like, oh, wow, impressive. I I only know, like, Naruhodo or, like, Kawaii. <laughs> YouTube, you know, pronunciation is also non-existent. But for me, like, a lot of, like, English I learned in the end. Like, I learned some, like, basic English. I could speak English pretty well. Like, after I go into that school. But I still wasn't, like, like you know, vocabulary and stuff. I still need to, like, learn more vocabulary and all that. And I actually ended up learning... Like, that's when I already knew, like, the basic English. I did end up learning a lot of vocabulary from video games. Like, I genuinely think that I learned a shit ton of my vocabulary from video games. And from, like, reading, like, manga and stuff like that. But I didn't, like, learn English itself from like video games and stuff like that i only like got better at it i think through games <clears throat> but yeah there are some very specific words that i can remember learning through a video game i learned the word hostage <laughs> through far cry 4 i don't know why but i have a very vivid memory where it was like this mission i was like save the hostages and i was like who are hostages and i looked it up and it said um like yeah, I, I just it just and I was like, oh, I see, and that's how I learned the word hostage. <laughs> I used to play a lot of video games in English. Yeah, I did, but I didn't really learn much English from them until later on. <clears throat> yeah, like I recognize Japanese words and stuff, like. Sometimes it even feels like I can make out a meaning out of like some very simple sentences, but I don't like speak it, you know? Like everything sounds and feels really familiar now. Like it's like it doesn't feel like a foreign language anymore just because I listen to it so much. But I can't actually like speak it, you know? I would be lying. I would be a lying weeb if I told you that I can. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. I kind of do want to like pick up language learning. I want to make my Spanish better. I really want to make my Spanish better. And I'm forgetting it now for sure. Now that I don't live in Spain anymore. Like at least it was decent when I was in Spain, you know. But now it ain't shit. I'm trying to watch stuff on Netflix with Spanish subtitles sometimes. I learned hostage from Counter-Strike. Let's go. Let's go, nonsense. Let's go. Ha <laughs> <clears throat> I learned Japanese a little bit in university because you had to pick an off-topic class. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I want to pick up a language class, but I don't know if there are any at my uni. Probably are, I'm just too lazy to look into it. <laughs> <clears throat> I do want to learn Spanish. <laughs> I know that you know Spanish, Minami. <laughs> Quieres practicar conmigo, Minami? <laughs> mi, mi español es perfecto. <laughs> Lies as naturally as she breathes. <laughs> sí. 
Do, 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 do. Let's watch anime in Spanish, Binami. <clears throat> okay, let's play some game in Spanish, Minami. Let's do it. <laughs> let's play some fucking game. Learn Japanese on Duolingo. Is Duolingo even like any good, man? Like it just tells you Russian. Don't try to learn Russian on Duolingo. It's an absolute disaster. Like the phrases it gives you. Like I remember Vanya was learning Russian on Duolingo, and he would come back to me with the phrases he learned, and I'm just very like. I don't think ever in my life have I actually used that phrase, Vanya. Like, I don't think ever in my fucking life... Like... I ever said those words. I don't know why Duolingo is teaching them to you. Like, it was so stupidly impractical. Like, it was, it was ridiculous. <clears throat> but yeah. So I don't know. But maybe Duolingo is better for other languages. I know my, my friend's mom was addicted to like duolingo spanish like she would do it daily she was so good i think she was like one of like the top people for like spanish duolingo like she was amazing like she would do like all the like um daily things like at some point like she would just like she would just go like into a separate room lock herself in there and just do duolingo like she would just like dedicate time of her day to just do duolingo and she asked people to not disturb her Amazing. What a queen. Ah, this part of drawing is so satisfying. The perfect way to end the drawing. Just scribble all over it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it, okay. <laughs> Duolingo Queen Kichi, you're still here. You hired 72 on Duolingo? Damn. That's nice. I can understand some... Like, I th I weirdly understand Pecora pretty, like, well. Not, like, in detail, you know? But I can get sometimes, like, a rough idea of what she's saying. But I think also because Pecora is, like, very clear. And I don't think she used, like, very complicated language either. And it's especially easy for me when she's playing a game that I'm already familiar with, you know? So yeah, I like to watch Pecora like live if she's playing some game that I already know well, and like, I can kind of pick up on what she's saying occasionally. So yeah. <clears throat> Lurking in the shadows, damn Kichi. I'm almost done with the drawing. <laughs> Yeah, reading in Japanese, I don't think I will ever be at, at the level where I'm like consciously thinking I do want to like learn at least like to like understand it better, but I don't know I feel like if I actually put more effort into like learning it like properly like a vocabulary and like sentence structure I feel like I would probably be really good at it because I, just because I watch so much like anime and stuff, you know So like I constantly hear it, right? Like I feel like a very important way to learn a language is by like consuming like media in it and also like speaking it like i feel like without speaking it's probably the hardest part to learn a language if you don't get to speak it but like listening to it a lot like in natural conversation not just in what they give you like in books is also good like i feel like if i actually put my mind into it with like all the japanese media i consume i could probably learn it pretty decently at least like at a simple level but i'm too lazy and i don't have the time I attended it several times and I dropped it several times. Several times! That's a Gravity Falls reference. Also guys, watch Gravity Falls, damn. How could I forget? Watch Gravity Falls. 
<laughs> Lara tries to convince people to watch things she likes. Attempt number 200 and something. Ugh, my neck is so weird today. Well, it has been four hours, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, yeah, I feel like if you actually learn a language, eh, like if you actually like, you know, like doing like exercises or something like that, or like watch like videos on it, and you consume media like anime or VTubers, I feel like it's, you know, it's really easy because I already understand, like I know a lot of words, you know, like, but like I don't know how like any of like the rules work, like how to like structure a sentence or stuff like that. So yeah. And sentence structures in Japanese looks pretty whack to me. <laughs> like, it's just like the order of words makes no sense to me whatsoever. And Russian sentence structure is also horrible, so I shouldn't complain. Like, sometimes I just think about how happy I am that Russian is my first language. Because never in my life would I want to learn it. <laughs> like, I'm just lucky that I was born knowing... Well, not born knowing it, but like, knew it since I was a child. Because otherwise, how the fuck would I ever learn it? Like, who? I actually, that guy I was talking to, like, on the station um, from my university, he actually asked me where I'm from, and I told him, oh, I'm from Russia. And he was like, wow, my sister learned Russian. And I was like, why? And he was like, I don't know, she just wanted to. <laughs> like, I, was, I was like, why? Like, whenever someone tells me, oh, I'm learning Russian, my first reaction is, why? Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you ever do that to yourself, man? Janen. <laughs> Like, look at how good I am at singing in Japanese, guys. Can you feel it? <laughs> you need to change your mindset about language and what certain words can express. Yeah, I don't have the energy for that nonsense. <laughs> Which is why my lear me learning Japanese will forever stay a theoretical con concept. Unless I get to pick up, like, maybe if I, because, I don't know, it's hard for me to motivate myself to learn things on my own. I'm not really, like, a self-learner with some things. Sometimes if I get, like, super into something, I'll learn it, like, how I learned Life 2D. But I was, that was also kind of out of necessity, because I really wanted a good model, but I didn't want to spend money. It was more like greed that made me learn Life 2D <laughs> than, like, actual, like, um passion or anything like that so yeah i don't know maybe if i ended up going to a class for japanese i think i would be like pretty decent at like keeping up with it but on my i, I tried several times on my own and it just doesn't work that way for me i need motivation maybe if i learn it with someone but i don't know i need like i need motivation so and it's really hard for me. I, I get, like, focused on things, but then I quickly forget about them. Like, I don't really, like, stay focused on things for a very long time sometimes. Like, I can get, like, super into something. And I will either stay into it for forever. Or I will literally forget about it after, like, a month. <laughs> like, it's, like, I, I ever, it either sticks with me for life or I completely forget about it. There's no in-between. And so far, Japanese has not been sticking with me for life, even though I picked it up several times. <laughs> Japanese is more like a programming language structure. That just sounds absolutely menacing. That just sounds absolutely menacing. Thanks for absolutely, definitely killing my wish to learn. <laughs> to learn Japanese. <laughs> Programming language, no fucking thank you. I'm citing game art and not game design for a reason. Hmm.
Oh, Ria, you speak German. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think... I don't remember, you did mention something about English not being your first language. So, your German is your first language? How come every German person I ever met is, like, really good at English? Like, do all German people just speak good English? Is that, like, do they just, like, teach you English very well there or something? Russia has a lot to learn. English education is not very good in in Russia. <laughs> <clears throat> Nonsense just goes German mode. No is obsessed with speaking German to people. I don't know why. I'll accept my parents, really? <laughs> my parents don't speak any English either. Only like a little bit. My mom always makes me translate things for her online shop and stuff. Like, she would send me, like, those really long paragraphs for, like, her listings in her Etsy shop and stuff. And it's like, can you please translate this into English for me? So I just sit there translating everything for her shop all the time. Like, God damn it, mom. And she'd ask me to, like, write messages to her clients in English and stuff like that. And I'm like, just learn it. <laughs> just learn it, mom, please. You are obsessed. <laughs> we should get viewers from all over do get viewers from all over the globe minami my youtube statistics are so funny it says that two percent of my viewers are from puerto rico and i'm like yep that just minami being the two percent <laughs> just minami just being that 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 one that two percent you know like so strong <laughs> uh. Mm. No, maybe on this side. Man, this song is beautiful, but it kind of makes me sleepy. I'm just go to sleep hungry today. I kind of forgot about how hungry I was. You know that feeling when you like are really hungry and then you're not hungry anymore because of how hungry you were. That's how I feel right now. Don't really want to paint over the legs too much because... <clears throat> Japan has some German words, really. Wow. <laughs> God, Japanese uses so many like English words, well, like it's so funny to me. <laughs> like, I remember watching this anime. And they were like at the market, like at like buying food, and they kept naming like vegetables perfectly how they are like in English and stuff. And I was like, wow, it's like I don't need to learn Japanese. <laughs> it's all here. <laughs> Aruchi shoku. <laughs> Yeah, that's not bad. I'm so close to finishing this. I will finally finish an artwork on stream. I'm so proud of myself. The curse has been lifted, maybe. Possibly. <laughs> I mean, Spanish and Portuguese 
they have a lot of similar words yeah pan i think pan isn't pan also like that in, in french i'm pretty sure pan is pan in several languages and then it's fucking like english like bread and um in russian it's chleb what the fuck is chleb chleb does not sound tasty man pan pan sounds tasty to me but chleb fucking doesn't chleb I think I forgot to shade his claws, but that's okay. We just pretend like they're shaded. <clears throat> Spanish and Portuguese person can have a full combo, see? And an Italian and a Spanish person as well, I think, yeah. The unbred! The Queen of Bread. <laughs> oh my god. The Unbred genuinely like killed me. Like why? Whoops. Um I'm just gonna do some stuff in the background and I think it's done. Actually I wanna add textures to her first. Let's add textures! Mmm. Lara's obsession with textures continues. Guess we'll leave it up to fate. Good things come to us to wait. Let's see. It's pretty like detailed already, well, so maybe I don't really need textures. Do you guys think this needs it looks pretty good to me actually? Maybe something for the hair? Maybe a bit over here. I'm obsessed with textures. I can't control myself. Just like a little bit. You know? Just for that vibe. There you go. <clears throat> I won't make any of my German speaking slave. That sounds very weird. <clears throat> German sounds difficult. I learned German for a little bit in school and I didn't really <laughs> I didn't really like it. <laughs> like why are the words so like Ger but I find it interesting because in German they just like kinda like create words like out of like combinations or something like that like they can make like was really long custom words like there's a word for anything in german there's a word for virtually anything and i find that pretty wild because i watched this german um vtuber nuri she like sometimes speaks in german i think she added a new rule i think her streams are english only now so no more german but before she would like say, she'd be like, oh yeah, in German we have a word for that. And I'm like, you guys have a word for everything in German, it's crazy. <clears throat> God, I'm getting really sleepy. I should start wrapping. I should start wrapping this up. But I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Background. I'm going to background. I'm not going to overdo it with textures. Whoops! Wrong brush. Wrong brush. Nail daddy. Ba -ba -bum. Bum -bum. Depending on the region, there's different words too. Oh god, no. <laughs> In German? I was just talking about German, I'm not sure. I was too into my drawing. Hold on. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
learning Japanese is German, it's quite noticeable how few words Japanese has. Like their own words? I mean, they use so many like English words and stuff. Doesn't German have a lot of words similar to English as well? I'm not sure though. I don't really know much German. Okay. Add some spark. No, not like sparkles, but like just a little. Where? What? Where is it? There it is. Just a little of these, maybe. Yeah, like that. Just some colors. Ooh, that was a big. That was a pretty big. Hold on. <clears throat> Don't forget to eat before you go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you, Far Sky. Thank you so much. Um, I'll have a snack. Tempted to eat nonsense Pringles, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Thank you, Bo. I mean, I have some yogurt actually. I have so much yogurt. I'm obsessed with yogurt this <laughs> day. I'm like Terry from Brooklyn Nine Nine. Just lots of like, yeah. <clears throat> in Japanese, just describe most things and transform them with a character into a noun. Yeah, I guess the hardest part in Japanese is like, um, learning how to read, learning how to read shit. <laughs> Yeah. What? It's not visible at all. Neon daddy. Yeah, just a bit of dots. Doesn't need to be too strong. Neon daddy. You might have some yogurt too. Let's go, yogurt. Head good. Oh yeah, I did. I do hear that. Um, I do hear that in anime sometimes. Actually, interesting. Um, do you like draw some confetti just like around? Mmm, this song though. What a vibe. Like, can a song be sexy, guys? Because to me, this song is very sexy. I know how to describe it. I know what to tell you, but this song is just sexy to me. It looks like I'm drawing worms. <laughs> I'm drawing fucking worms just flying around. Day by day. <clears throat> I need you to go to bed now. It could have been two hours ago. I'm so sorry about that, Ria. No problem. I'm almost done with the drawing anyway. Thank you so much for staying for this long. Yeah, if you're like in a European time zone, it's also really late for you. Sorry about that. Have a good night. <clears throat> I'm gonna finish soon, hopefully. I don't know why you are so casual. Mm, this song, man. This song. Do, 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 do. Oops. Maybe. One. Clip. Good, 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 good. Good to na <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, Sumina Sai. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Laugh. This song, man.
I'm so bad with colors. Teach me what? I'm not. I'm. I mean, I like colors a lot, but like sometimes I get like really stuck with them as well. I recommend doing like lots of color tests before, like for a big illustrations. Do like a color test on one layer. See what kind of like vibe you're going for. I don't really know how to teach it. Like I sincerely don't know. Like I like whenever you guys are like, oh, there, teach me how to do this, and I just go there like, how do I do it? How do I explain? How do I how do I how do I confess to them? But I just do whatever I feel like until it looks good. <laughs> how do I explain to them? But I don't actually know what I'm doing myself. <laughs> Sorry, you had to find out that way, guy. I have no idea what I'm doing with art most of the time. I think Ryan is starting to pick up on that. I'm telling you, Ryan's on to me. Um. There you go. And let's just write. It's very late. It's very late, but. But. Happy... Birthday... You guys love my horrible handwriting? I can't... Selene won't fit! Hold on... <laughs> I need to fit Selene! Selene... Duck friend... That's an ugly duck friend. What? Ah, duck friend? Don't embarrass me like that. On Selene's birthday art. <clears throat> Beautiful hat, I'm sure it is. <clears throat> I can move it a bit more there. Me. <laughs> Like, technically I'm two days lo um, late at this point, but, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that. <laughs> Sugoi. Wow, nonsense. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that duck friend. No, don't perceive him. Don't perceive him. <laughs> Hermoso. <laughs> wow. That's so nice. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Man, I'm tired. My neck is so stiff. But yeah, it was worth it. Only four and a half hours. Not too bad. Not too bad for this drawing. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's let's go to the room. Wait. Hmm. <clears throat> must be okay, visto. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I believe you, Minami. <laughs> I understand German. I understand German nonsense. You might be insulting it and I wouldn't know. But yeah. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for staying. It was quite a long stream, but thanks so much. Let me to show the figures. Yes. Must paint Len Kagomine. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys. Have a good night. I'm gonna go have a yogurt. I'm gonna go have a yogurt. I deserve that shit. <laughs> I'll see you guys on Friday for Untitled Goose Game. And then next week, two streams. And I'm off to my break, unfortunately. But yeah, have a good night, guys. Bye-bye.